Warning, the following content may contain elements that are not suitable for some audiences. Topics and opinions may be disturbing to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Hi guys, welcome back to my podcast. I got a special guest. Oh my God, I'm excited. My name's Fernando. If y'all didn't know, I don't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is Fernando, guys. Welcome, welcome. Um, this is my first podcast with somebody i have never met before so i'm kind of <laughs> literally we just met maybe like what 30 minutes ago yes we just <laughs> met um so how do you feel how do you feel i'm nervous i'm excited though i've been always i've always wanted to do a podcast for the longest and when he offered me the opportunity i was like why the fuck not you know oh can i curse yeah okay cool yeah i was just like why why not you know um and i've always i've always seen him like his content around i've always seen it around and when he asked i was just like bro this is an opportunity you know I have one. My, I want to have my own podcast eventually. One you day. should. You should. But I think you've been good. You, looking at all the work. I was like, no. <laughs> no, you should though. It's, it's hella. I think it's cool to talk to people, get to know them, like especially that us, me, you have never yeah. met before. So, well, I'm a, it, go ahead. It makes like a good opportunity to like to talk to people. Yeah, I'm a very social person, so I feel like getting to know people is, has never been a struggle, and I can like this is literally what it's about: getting to know people. I think it's yeah. really fine. I admire your work ethic. I'm not going to lie. Oh, thank you. You definitely put in work. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. So if y'all saw on the vlog or y'all see before or after, I got him some, I can never say the word. I've been saying the fucking Shakuri. Shakuri. A girl, I don't know how to say it either. Uh, Kachuri board? The, I don't know. The board. That. <laughs> the fucking bo board. Okay. So we're just going to explain for the people who are just watching the podcast and listening. We have on the board some su sushi. He got the California. California country roll. California country, country, country. Mm -hmm. And then I got the the hot Cheeto spicy ones. I don't know. And we also have some like crackers, some cheese, some salami, and some other fruits mm -hmm. and stuff. That's one thing I'm like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not eating that. That's gonna stay there. <laughs> <laughs> the no. olives. Our mm -hmm. olives are gonna stay there. <laughs> but yeah, okay. So I guess let's, let's get a bite real quick, and then we can start off. So yeah, I've been three steps <laughs> ahead of you. Is this the same sauce for the? It is. It is. Okay. Mm, we can never go wrong with sushi. For real. Funny thing, for the longest, let me shut the fuck up and finish eating. <laughs> like I was telling you, I used to hate sushi for the longest. I thought people who ate that shit was fucking weird to cut no, it short. No, for real. But it wasn't time. until um, my ex put me on sushi, and <laughs> uh, I've been loving it since, so I'm a fan. Yeah, I mean, I think... I just started liking it like probably two years ago too because I I thought I like sushi with the fucking sushi like yeah. was, I thought it was just all raw but I heard that then some there's of them some are cooked, cooked yeah mm -hmm. so normally I try to go for the cooked ones and I got a cooked one I don't mind raw now yeah okay so let's start with a question you want to mm -hmm. start off with an icebreaker question go so for it. I sent him the questions to his phone so you want me to read them already or you want to start just with one just pick one of your favorite ones and then we can both answer or you can answer depending oh on it's just gonna go with the first one to pop up right, are you single I am single. I am definitely single. How long have you been single? Only like four months, three months. About to be five. Yeah. I don't know. Halloween. Since oh, Halloween. Since Halloween. Okay. A little bit. Like four, yeah, three yeah. months. Yeah. Um, single. I, I am single too. Um, a little bit way longer than him. Um, <laughs> probably like four or five, almost five years this year. Damn. Single, yeah. Damn. I know. Five years. <laughs> Honestly, no. I, I always tell people, I think being single is such a great thing. I feel like nothing compares to your own self-love. Yes. Personally, I think you don't need anybody to love you. Right. And when you figure out yourself and you love mm -hmm. yourself, you don't. You realize you don't need anybody. Don't get me wrong. Having somebody's nice. No, it's yeah. cute, right? It but is. you don't think you got to depend on anybody. <laughs> no, for real. Because I feel like ever since... Because I never lived alone. Like I always lived with my... Um, my mom, my dad, my sisters, mm. or like my best friend or whatever. Mm. But I never had my own place. So this is my first time living by myself. So I kind of like enjoying it. Like it boosted up my singleness. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, she. I, I get to come home because I have OCD. So mm. I come home and like everything's organized and everything's like work, not misplaced. Mm -hmm. So I, that makes me happy. Like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Everything's the same. Because when I used to live with my sister and then. It was a hot mess. <laughs> hey, but, but I mean, this looks like a really nice apartment. Do you pay a lot? Um, I pay. You don't have to say number you want, but no, it's no, no. I pay pretty. It's pretty nice for the 
The price is pretty good for the ten apartment. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I was gonna say because nowadays inflation. Yeah. Maybe, no, for real. You'd be paying the same for a house, and you might as well just get a house. <laughs> Do you want a house? Actually, funny thing you asked me that. I was talking about that with my friends the other day. I was like, girl, I don't know because, I mean, well, I live in a house right now, but I watch my parents all, like, the, the property taxes, like, the, the maintenance for it, and it's like, that comes all out of your pocket as opposed to an apartment. Yes, you'll never be the owner of an apartment, but all of that stuff gets taken care of. Like, yeah. there's maintenance guys that come in, you know, the office candles, certain stuff that's mm -hmm. not within your, um, within your, what do you call it? Budget? No, not with your buddy, but you're like, it's not your responsibility, you know, it's, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's them. And with a house, no, you have to it's a lot, everything's you, yeah, all, it's, it's all on you. But the, the great goal about it, or the great thing about a house is like, you know, eventually that's going to be your property once you finish paying it off. Yeah. The, I mean, the only thing I would probably get a house is just for like the noise, because I'd be sometimes like partying too hard. Mm -hmm. So I, the noise I, haven't, I haven't had a, I haven't had a noise complaint luckily here because mm -hmm. they be loud and they be loud. So everybody be loud. Like, okay, shit, okay, okay, shit let's go. <laughs> we all be loud. But yeah, um, that's the only one reason. But other than, mm -hmm. other than that, I don't want a house. Like, I feel like I should have a house when I get like a family or whatever now. Yeah. By the way, guys, I'm just looking at it right now. We did not plan to like, well, we're not matching, but it's just the jeans. I'm looking oh, at it like, we did not plan this. Yours is more white from the bottom. It's cute. Yeah. I'm more of a, like a, I like them. I used to like it like that, but I don't know. I'm just, I've changed my style over time. Um, I sometimes, like yeah. I feel like it's still changing. It's good though. Like you got to change your style. I feel like everybody should change their style. Yeah. But don't get me wrong. I'm usually not. I don't wear stuff like this. I'm usually more athletic like clothes. I Everywhere everywhere I go, I'm just wearing either hoochie shorts with Gymshark, <laughs> Alphaly, Young LA, you name it. I'm like wearing anything gym apparel. So for me to dress like this, it's, it's weird. I like it. It's cool. It's weird. Thanks. The fit is fitting. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I also wanted to talk a little bit about your... Um, your upbringing, so your background, like what are you, like what's your mom and dad from, and okay. like, how'd you grow up, do you have cousins, siblings, so, because okay. um, I don't know you at all, and I'm pretty sure my people don't know you, Yeah, your friends, I don't know, your, your people. Well, I'm very open, I'm a very open book, I'm not going to lie, I usually tell my personal life, I mean, I do social media, as y'all can see, um, uh, my parents were both born and raised in Mexico, mm -hmm. they have their city gals. Uh, so was I. Fun fact: I was also born in Mexico in the F two, and then I came here when I was two and a half. Yeah, I was a baby. I like to tell people that I just parachuted here, but <laughs> I, I, tr truthfully, I don't know how I got here, but I'm here. Um, and growing up, it was very, very. I'm not gonna lie. I was spoiled because, for the most part, I was the only child up to like when I was like twelve. Yeah. Um, and then my siblings came along, and of course, you know, got to share the the love. The love. And my parents were always hard workers. I will say, growing up, I didn't really have my parents around mm -hmm. because they were trying to provide, you know, put a, put a roof over my head, food on the table. Um, so I didn't really have my parents growing up, but they never, their way of showing me love was through materialistic things. And they always took care of you. Basically. They always took care of me. I, I can't complain. Like, yes, they were never really there because, you know, kid, a kid needs that, so they need the, the love. They were never really there for me. It's different for my siblings now because not that we're a bit more financially stable or they are. They're able to spend more time with them growing up. Yeah. Um, with me, their way of showing me love was through materialistic things. And I think I don't regret it, but part of me does wish I would have gotten that little bit of love here and there sometimes. But um, I think them showing me love through materialistic things, I learned to appreciate stuff. And now I don't give a fuck about materialistic things. Yeah. I am one who's like, I don't care. About them more of the time. Right, right. Like, I'm like, people... I'm mean, gonna get off, off traffic real quick, but or off topic. But some people Inspired think podcast. some people think, or when they first glance at me, they think secreto. Or he has money or this and that, right? Like just at first glance, yeah. not even getting to know me. But same here. I'm just like those stuff doesn't matter to me. Like all this, I seriously tell people like when you're listening, things don't matter to me. I'm not one to. And maybe some may say, oh, because you grew up with it, right? Yeah. But even then, now I'm like, I, everything I have is on my own. I buy, I buy it on my own. I work for it, you know. Um, and besides social media, I have an actual job, you know? Yeah. So it's not just, I don't know. I hate when people have that. Assumption. Wait, I saw your little struggle too. I, I followed you way back. We'll get to that. I got, some, I got, I got some tea Oof, okay. to talk about later. Struggle. But I, no, but because you were looking for a job that basically like. Oh, cause I got him fired. That's, yeah. a, that's a different story. That mm. <laughs> about where I know you worked at Olive Garden. Right. I still work out all of Garden. You still work out? I still work out. Oh, the same one. Or I one? still get my way around. I was able to finesse getting back in. You know. Yeah, for real. Just a different Olive Garden though. Oh shit. Mm -hmm. Okay, but I was like, fuck, because you, you're like 
unemployed for like a little bit, right? I wasn't employed for four months. Yeah, and it was during the holiday season. So I was like feeling it. I was like, I want to get, because I love, um, one thing about me, I'm a gifter. Like, <laughs> I love getting people gifts. I don't care if I go broke. I love seeing people's reaction. That's my gift to me. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't even want gifts. I want to see people smile and be like, oh my God, thank you. That yeah. to me is my gift. So I go all out for holidays all the time. And usually I was on, on a roll and then unfortunately got fired around uh, August, I think. And from August to maybe like late November, that's when I finally got a job. But by then it's like Christmas is like in three, four weeks. Like, oh, but I just swipe, put everything on my credit card. I was like, boom, fuck oh, yeah, it. Like, I just swiped yeah. everything on my credit card. I finally paid it off. Actually, like two weeks ago, I paid off that big old debt. I was like, whatever, it's done. I have a job now, thank God. But yeah, I was struggling. I was struggling a lot. I was, and I never got depressed. That's something about me. I, I don't ever get depressed. Same. I, I feel like my sister told me too. She's like, you never like... Show, like, show that you're struggling. Yeah, yeah cause why? For what? For what? Like exactly. Like for what? I'm here. I feel like I'm more like I want to cheer people up when they hang out with me. I want to like mm -hmm. forget about your problem. Forget about the yeah. like, we're hanging out. Like, right. Let's just chill. My problems are my problems. Basically. I don't want to have to tell fuck, everybody yeah. and the mama like, oh, I, I can't afford this and this and that. Like, right. No. Maybe so, I'm sometimes I may not afford. It, I still swipe. I'm like whatever. I'll pay later. <laughs> 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 yeah. You only live once. Don't yeah. Forget. Okay. So now that we finished talking about a little bit about your growing up, my upcoming. Um, People want to know how we know each other. So we don't. <laughs> no, we literally no. don't. We literally don't of each other. Like, when was the first time you like heard of you? Heard of me, and basically, I'll tell you mine. Um, it was actually through my ex. He, I think, you found me while I was in a relationship, and no, it was before. I don't recall that though. <laughs> I don't remember you before my relationship. I really don't. I I remember you only because of my ex because, um. I was just uh, fascinated at the fact that like he had like a brand for yourself. So you have Rainbow Eric, you have merch and all that stuff. And I was just mm -hmm. like, oh, I was like, look, this other. I have a shirt for you too. <laughs> oh, thank you. I have this. Um, I was like, this like other content creator. When content creators follow me, I think that's so cool because I'm like, oh, somebody I can relate to, somebody who you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so I immediately pointed that out to my ex at the time, and I was just like, uh, I was like, look, this content creator, blah blah blah. Like I, I have never heard of him. Blah, blah, blah. He's Houston local. I think that's what got me too. I was like, oh, he's Houston local, and he basically was just like oh like i know him and i was just like oh do you and then he told me how and i was just like okay cool so that's just how i first heard of you okay for mine i well we're i think we're following each other not gonna lie you followed me before we're following each other uh -huh. i knew you we're following each other but we never talked and we're, i was we were just following each other on instagram i think mm -hmm. but then after you got with your ex that's when you unfollowed me i was like what the fuck I did. I did because I, um, it was, he asked for it. To be honest, he asked for it. And I was I figured, just kind of like, I, I was like, it's cool. After he told me and explained to me how it was that he knew of him, I just, because I didn't want problems at the time with my ex, I was just like, you know what, out of respect, cool, I'll do it for you just because for whatever reason you want mm -hmm. me to, I'll do it, right? Um, but I mean, we're here now, so. We made it back. <laughs> we're back. We're but back. yeah, that's basically how I knew you. I knew you before and then. You don't follow me, I am followed. I was like, You're like, okay, bad. Bye. I, I was like, what the hell? I was like, I didn't do shit. <laughs> but I was like, I was, I'm pretty sure because of him. You kind of figured? Yeah, because he was right. dating. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. That. But um, yeah, I was like, fuck. But then after, I don't know when that I noticed, you stopped posting him, I think, for a little bit. Uh huh. Well, but to be honest, with and you, I was happy for the relationship. Like, it was cool the way the shit that you were doing for yeah. you. I was like, oh shit, that's cool. And the because one thing about me, I love hard. I love hard. Um, I always will. But uh, I stopped posting him mostly. Besides us breaking up, I'm he just never was a camera like all the time type of mm -hmm. person. And when you're in a relationship, you gotta learn how to balance being a content creator if you want to be one and your partner who's completely the opposite. He's more private, which is cool. You know, yeah. people people are different. Everybody's different. Um. And so, yeah, I just stopped posting him because he would say he will be fine with it, but I just know, knew deep down inside, it's like, he would Either. rather just be in the moment than me having a, my phone the whole time, you know? So I just kind of stopped. I stopped posting him for his privacy, um, but regardless, I also stopped posting him because we didn't work out, so. Gotcha. Oh, yeah, that's how we know each other, basically. <laughs> <laughs> but right. this is our first time meeting, though. Yeah, yeah, this is how, the first time, first time meeting. Do um, you have any questions? I do. Well, next question, basically. I don't have questions. They have questions. Oh yeah, we gotta answer them before they get mad. I already answered the first one. Um, personality or looks? I want you to go first. I feel like it has to be half and half. 
I don't know because I gotta. You have. I feel like you have to have a nice face. I don't really care much about the body. It's more of the face. Like the face has to inter. Um, what's called? Be attractive. Attractive for me. You, I have to, okay. The face, and then after that, like the personality, obviously. Like right. if they're like cool around my friends. If they're cool around my family. If they're like just, they have to vibe with my world, and I have to vibe with their world for mm -hmm. it to work out. Okay. Let me finish it. <laughs> <laughs> um, with me, basically, I guess to like tie back on what he said, we gotta keep it real. I I don't like when people say it's never about the looks; it's only about personality. Now, bitch, mm -hmm. for me to even want to approach you or even want to talk to you, there has to be something small, physical wise, attracted to you, like attracted about you. And that's just, it is what it is. Like, I don't care. I hate when people say that the legs don't matter at all. Yes. A, cer a little bit does. <laughs> a little bit, okay? So, yes. You, but then again, you can also be the most attractive person ever. And if you have a shitty personality, you instantly oh, yeah. become the most unattractive person to me. And I don't want uh, any. I don't care how hot you are. And I'll still compliment you. I'll be like, he's a good looking guy. But your personality, if it's your personality right here, it's like, I'm sorry. I have met some people online, too, where they're like, they're hot as hell. But, mm -hmm. and they be in my DMs and I'll be like... Dry ass conversation. Dry, like, you know what? I don't and then what they post is like, what the fuck? Like, why would you yeah. post it? Like, oh mm -hmm. no. I would like, no. We'll just keep it there. I don't want. <laughs> I don't want to even link up with you because I already I sort of know you. <laughs> the shit you post. I can already tell how it's gonna be when we are in person. Like, exactly. That's so yeah. I like to tell people don't. I hate when they lie and they say, no, looks has nothing to do with it. Bitch, it has a little bit to do with it. Yeah. But overall, no. Overall though. You can be not the most attractive person, have something small attracted, but if your personality is bomb as fuck, I instantly, like, that, like, to me, your looks don't even matter. I'm like, this is somebody I would want to have a conversation with, go out with, be with 24-7, like, Because it's like, you matching the energy with the personality. Right, yeah, I'm good on that. Well, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> if, I used to say I'm, I match energy, but lately I've been on that mindset of, like, if you want to... Let me shut the fuck up. No, I'm not gonna say it. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. no. What? But yeah, I, I think I'm still on that mindset. I'm like, you wanna if you wanna be dry, okay, bye. Cool. Like, I'm not even gonna deal with it. Cause why? I don't have to deal with it. I don't. True. If you wanna give me attention, I'll give you attention. Why not? That's how you see it. Got you. So <laughs> it's too early to spill the beans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, it was like, what would you put it at a percentage? So looks. Like looks and personality? From 100% basically. Looks has to be 30%, personality 70. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel like for me it would be, yeah, 40. 40, 60? 40, 60. 40, 60. Okay. Yeah. I think so. For yeah. me. Oh. And it's only from personal experience. Like I said, I've met really, really cute guys and girls too. Um, but if you're stuck up, if you're this, this, or that, I, you're no longer interested in yeah. me. Or I'm not interested in you anymore. Cool, cool. Mm -hmm. Got you. Next question. <laughs> We're trying to answer your question. Right? It's a lie, y'all. Mm. What made you want to start social media? Where well, you went first the last time, so I'm going to go first, I guess. Mm -hmm. I, w I feel like I've been doing social media forever. Like, when I look at my, f the first time I opened my YouTube channel, it was 2008. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've been, like, not, I've, Baby. vlogging, fucking, um, I mean, what else? I would make my cousins do music videos with me. I'll do like reality shows of like our family and everything. Those are all hidden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I don't know. I started, I started like in 2008 because I always loved being creative in that way of like making film or like even I will get my little nieces and nephews to do like a scary movie. Like we'll act out. Like it's just I always had an interest in like social media in yeah. that way. Mm -hmm. How about you? You always trust me. Oh, when I'm right. in. Okay, let me let me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm bad. always fucking eating. Um, <laughs> how did I start social media? Yeah, yeah. Oh, what was the reason you wanted to start social media? Okay, so I always knew from the beginning. I always knew I wanted to do social media. Mm -hmm. I think when I well, I know I started during spring break of um the year after COVID to so 2021. I started just filming like just like silly skits just like short clips with like a, a relatable caption that was really and like trending audios that was really just it but i remember telling my friends at the time i was like hey like i want to take this serious obviously at the time they made fun of me you know i low-key doubted myself too 
and then it just randomly throughout from from spring break of March 2021 to 2022 it just randomly took a shift where like me out of nowhere I just started filming like daily blogs and get ready with me I still wasn't doing gym content not because I still wasn't in that um era yeah in my era <laughs> uh, it's not an era baby it's a lifestyle, it's a lifestyle yeah uh, but I wasn't there yet so I was just slowly transitioning without even noticing and not even doing it on purpose just doing it and I stopped doing the trending audios and I realized that people, I wasn't getting the same amount of views, I won't lie, because people love more relatable stuff like that, trending audios. It's hard to get people to like you for who you are, right? The personality. Right, right. Yeah. And so at first, it, well, I did start, I guess you can say I restarted because my views were going from like hundreds of thousands um, to maybe like a couple thousand, you know? And when I mean a couple thousand, I don't even mean like 10K, I mean like less than that. Um, and, but I realized, I started thinking about it this way, I was like, 10k or less that's still thousands of people that are watching me for who i am now it's not yeah. for those silly skits anymore so i just kept going with it and i eventually found love with the gym and i converted my niche to that and now i am where i'm at and so i guess you can say from the get-go it was supposed to be a joke but i always knew deep down this i want to do social media but i was never confident enough never confident so what was the reason you started the gym um or how long well okay well growing anything? up okay so keeping it real growing up as y'all seen, I don't know if y'all seen my pictures. I was really, really big. I was my biggest. I was two hundred eighty pounds at one point. And growing up, I always had to do with uh, at home. My mom getting on my ass about like, "Hey, you're gonna become diabetic." Like, I was always on strict diets, and nothing ever worked for me. Mm. And I just got sad, and like, I wasn't. I always had the thought of like, "Damn, what is it like to be skinny? What is it like to be attracted to people?" Because unfortunately, as society is. Big people, fat people, whatever you want to call it, they're not, and I'm just keeping it real, they're not attracted as much to this as skinny people. And that's just society, you know? And I witnessed it because I was big as fuck. Um, and I feel like that was like, it was the wrong mentality now that I think about it. But that was like my main push was like, I want to lose weight to be attracted to people. Yeah. When I got to my thinnest point, which is I was like 170. So I lost damn near 100, I lost 110 pounds, right? So when I got to my thinnest, it was so like, so bad. Like you can see my cheekbones like my bones here and everything like and i thought that's what i want i thought that's what made me happy mm. i was not happy bitch i was a hoe i was fucking around so much but it didn't make me happy and i was still yeah. insecure with my body and then that's when i got into strength training at the gym and i am i couldn't be happier now um with the gym though i've been doing the gym for three years but i've only known what the fuck i've been doing for one year the first two years i was clueless as fuck i was bitch i would be like oh yeah i have a pump what fucking pub, bitch? I, <laughs> I'd be like, oh, yeah, I see some results. Bitch, what results? But you got to take the time to, like, do your research. It's, the yeah. gym is not just about going and getting it done. Like, there's a lot behind it. But as long as you have determination and, and your will to do it, anybody can do it. Gotcha. Este... Oh, my God, your earrings are dancing right now. <laughs> Where do you get them from? Um, players. Really? Mm -hmm. No way. Yeah. They're dancing right now. They're so shy. Like, Thank like, you. Uh, <laughs> it's the, I feel like I barely, I barely go, I barely started going to the gym too because um, I don't know. I didn't do vlogs like the way I do them now because I didn't also, I didn't want to be in front of the camera with the body weight that I was at. Uh -huh. So I started doing YouTube in 2020 during COVID okay. because that was the time I got, I went to the hospital for like a whole week because I have, um, I can, I'm allergic to like red meat, mm -hmm. so I can't have red meat and I ate like fajita or something. Uh -huh. It was just building after time. So yeah. I went to the fucking hospital for like a whole week and I lost a lot, a lot of weight. Uh -huh. And then for some reason that made me, I don't know, it, I liked where I was at. I was like, wait, this actually looks good on me because uh -huh. I've never been this thin like since high school probably. You know how, many, how much pounds you lost? I didn't. I didn't weigh myself. I still don't weigh myself. No. I'm, I don't like weighing myself for yeah. some reason. I'm like that too. No, I fuck the numbers, scale. Yeah. Like it's like how I feel, how I look. Yeah. When I look at like the clothes that I wear or what I used to wear and they fit loose or like that's mm -hmm. why I see the results. Yeah. Or when I look at myself in the mirror, I'm like, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay. No, literally fuck the scale. That's yeah. So traumatizing. So after I got out the hospital, um, I liked the way I looked. So I was like, oh shit, okay, let me start doing my YouTube again. And that's mm -hmm. when I started doing YouTube since we're already off for like. I was unemployed for from March to August, I think. Yeah, I was a minute too. And I was just unemployed. 
So we're just chilling at the house. Me and my sister. Well, my sister was working. Mm -hmm. She hates us because she was working and I was just chilling. Paying everything. Receiving yeah. checks. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so she's like, fuck y'all. It was me and my sister, my cousin. Is this the stimmy? The stimulus checks? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Stimulus. Okay. So I was getting checks. I was getting like thousands of dollars a, a month. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay, y'all. Happy Trump. <laughs> <laughs> but um i was i just started doing um youtube video challenges and like who knows me better and like just like little cool games with my cousin and everything since mm -hmm. we we're all there doing nothing mm -hmm. and i felt the most attractive but then i stopped doing that because i was gaining weight again like just from chilling just from chilling mm -hmm. like after the covid that's when i started gaining weight and just i went back to work i just didn't have time for youtube no more yeah. so i was like that's when i stopped until Probably last year, mm. last year when I started doing it again, the vlogs and everything, because mm. I felt better. I felt attractive now. Yeah. So when I disappear, it's because of that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's basically my fitness journey. Well, I go to the gym probably like twice or three times a week. Mm -hmm. That's all the, you really need. Yeah. I have the one downstairs. So And plus that and the diet. Just working the on diet. my I, diet. That's what I'd be telling people. It does not matter how often you go to the gym, how hard you work at the gym. Diet is literally, and if nobody has told you, 85%, 15%, that's the rule. 85% of your weight loss or whatever it is you're trying to do, gain muscle, 85% of it is your diet, the, the way you eat. And then the other 15% is just working out. So you can never outwork a bad diet. That's yeah. That's some people. I do fasting, so fasting helps me oh, a lot. Oh, hell no. Oh, good, good, for, good for you. <laughs> I could never. I do 12-hour uh. fastings. No. So hell like no. I eat like a whole good meal, protein. Yeah. And veggies and everything like at 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. and I won't eat again till like the morning, probably like 10, maybe a little bit after, tw a little bit more than 12 actually. Yeah, probably like 10, 11 when I get to I'll work. I'll see you. Uh -uh. I'm like, I'll eat. I'll like, I have my set like nutritions or the amount of nutrition I'm supposed to take every day. Mm -hmm. Um, but I get my three meals in. I get my especially breakfast. Breakfast is my favorite meal of the day. I hate. Breakfast. I love. I when people tell me that, I'm like, how? Like, how like can you brunch? go on your but not that ain't breakfast. breakfast. That's alcohol, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> but when people tell me, oh, yeah, I skip breakfast, I'm like, bro, how? I get mad. If I don't eat breakfast, I start getting mad or maybe something in me. But I get mad and I get, like, lightheaded. Cranky? Yeah, I get mad and lightheaded. I'm just like, I, I need my breakfast. Like, what this. the hell? Yeah. I'll skip lunch. I'll skip lunch. I don't mind skipping lunch. But no, I'd rather have lunch than have breakfast. What? Yeah. No. Uh-uh. Because I feel like I can burn them while I'm walking. I mean, I don't know. I'd rather have food earlier, but not too early. Yeah. Because I don't know. I mean, I don't have it that early. I have it like around nine. I think that's perfect. Some people have breakfast at six. Not for real. <laughs> Wait, do you still do your little? I remember watching your TikToks. You used to have like a traditional like avocado. Uh, uh, oh my god, I haven't had those in a minute. No, no. I, yeah, you don't do that anymore. I don't. I want to though, but I just haven't bought the bread. I don't buy the bread anymore because I come to find out. Well, I started getting into nutrition lately, and I started paying more attention to what I'm eating. That bread that I thought was healthy, bitch, it had like. 14 grams of sugar per slice and i would eat two and me one thing about me i'm really like uh, nowadays i do count uh, nutrition labels so if i see something's high on sugar or something's too if the ratio is not good enough so if there's a little bit of protein but so much carbs and fat i'm like no it has yeah. to be balanced you know but if it could have everything and then it's like oh 40 grams of sugar i'm like no because wait what brand was it yeah, I wish I could. It's an HEB brand. I couldn't. I, I don't know exactly the name, but it had like the seeds and everything. I was like, "Oh, this is healthy." No, it's not. And I mean, don't get me wrong, sushi's not healthy either. Well, raw sushi is, but this one that I'm eating is not. But I have not spoiled myself in a minute, so. And it's it's for a good reason. right. It's for a good reason. Yeah. So we don't judge me. Celebrating <laughs> our achievements. Mm. It's done for. Did you want a water? I'm okay right now. Thank you. Okay. So, next question. <laughs> you know, actually, fun fact with Zazani water, mm. it's actually really, really bad for you. I know, right? When I was buying it, that was the only fucking water they had at the gas station. I was like, why? Bad. I was so thirsty. I was like, man, just get it. Just get it. Uh, what would you say to those who want to start creating content? Oh, you go for that. Or do you want me to go? Yeah, go first. You I want me to go? Better. I actually had... Uh, um, I'm gonna call him a content. Uh, I'm gonna call him a content creator because he is. He just started his own fitness page. His name is Emirio. Um, he's been following me for a minute, but anyways, he reached out recently and he asked me the same question. He's like, "What? Do, what would you tell me, or what would you tell your younger self when you first started?" And it's simple. Just go for it. Just do it. Don't overthink it. Just post. And I know it sounds so cliche because everybody tells you the same thing. Like, yeah, just post. 
but it's obviously it's more it's much more than it. it's the confidence behind it it's what you're gonna pose what are you doing you know to even record the creative part of it right the creative part is a, people don't see that but it's really really hard um but this guy he wants to start working out well he's been working out actually he, he i remember seeing him when he first started he has grown a lot of muscle since i seen him uh -huh. and he wants to continue uh, to do so but now he wants to get into the creator creator world um and I just told him how to start. Just do it. He has a, he's been having a TikTok. He just never posted, but he started his Instagram page. And I said, from Houston. Yeah, he's actually been wanting to hang out uh, to work out together. Oh, that's the better. Um, which I have already done with a couple friends already. People who met me through TikTok, I've worked out with them. Mm. I haven't recorded only because I know cameras and everything can be a lot for some people. Yeah. And it's you know just because I'm used to it doesn't mean they're used. To they're it. used to it, right? Yeah. So I will always like to ask. <laughs> me too. But. Even if they tell me yes, I can see that they're just not, you know, or they're going to act a little bit different. I just don't want that. I'd rather have a genuine interaction. Yeah. So, um, nine out of time, I don't record. I don't record the, the, the sessions I have with them, but it's been cool so far. And I have one with him coming up in like three weeks. All right. Um, is it like a video collab or is it just chilling? Well, he, well, well, well he working. actually wants to collab. He's oh. like, he's been asking me for a collab. And I was All like, right. I'm so down for it, you know? Um, but that, my advice to you guys, whoever wants to start, just do it. Just do it. I started this. 2021 was what three, three years ago sorry three years ago and look at look at where i'm now like i just i would have never thought i'd be here i would have never thought i'd be here literally <laughs> um and it's i can honestly say it's it's gonna be with me for a long time i, I want to do this for for a living i eventually don't do this for a living yeah that's why that's why i told my like the people I, my closest are called like once my influencer life becomes my main source of income, income then that's when i cut off the work yeah like it's fun to do this like it's yeah. fun to interact it's fun to like film i love editing i hate editing for real hate i dread it so okay one thing about me <laughs> i can record any content any day yeah i think that's so cool that's fun the editing part i dread it so much i hate it because it's just me sitting there and i don't like sitting down like you would think i i mean i don't mind this right but me <laughs> sitting down on the phone editing and editing i like i get so annoyed because also fun Wait, fact, do you have ADHD? No, I don't. No, I okay. think I do, but I that was diagnosed and said that it wasn't. Okay. Um, but the editing part is definitely not fun. I don't look forward to it. Fun fact, I'm supposed to have a, a video that was supposed to have been edited, been done um, for a, a, a brand new that I have going on. Mm -hmm. And I'm supposed to turn it in tonight. And I asked for an extension for tomorrow. I work a double tomorrow. No. And I go out tonight. I'm going out tonight. I'm going out after this. <laughs> Um, and I work a double tomorrow. I'm just like, when am I going to get this done? Like, this is a, uh, this is the second time I work with this brand. And it's like, what am I doing? I don't want to fuck it up because now I'm, a, I'm officially a long-term creator with them. Like now they want to work with me for a long term. That's good. And, um, I can't tell y'all the brand yet, but. So uh, y'all have to tune in. <laughs> it's TikTok, right? But. On TikTok? It's TikTok. I, I can't say oh, nothing. Okay, I, okay. Bitch, I'm going to get sued. I can't be. <laughs> okay. I can't say nothing, but. T stay tuned, bitch. <laughs> Yeah, I have to I have to get that done. It just comes to show I don't like editing. I hate it. I will push it last minute. I love editing. I don't mm -hmm. know why. I just and you're so good at it. Your like, clips and everything, like adding like the funny memes or like stuff like that. Yeah, I you're like so good at it. I, I when you put the a trailer for this, um, I saw. I don't remember showing my friends. I was like, bro, I was like, this man put his back into this. You're like, this boy is going all out. I, I, love it, cool. I love it, I love it, I love it. I just love seeing everything come together. So when I heard you, when I saw your story that you wanted, like, you don't know how long this is going to come out. I was like, fuck. Now I feel like I'm rushed. Yeah, no, no. No, but uh, for me, it's just the marketing behind it. So I just want the marketing to be as perfect. Like, like, like those little keywords or like little parts from this um, mm -hmm. podcast. The so little like, tea parts. Yeah. So people can want to taste exactly. it. Yeah. yeah. So I just want those parts to be perfect. The caption, the clip, the, mm -hmm. the angle, everything just, everything comes together. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot. It's cool to see you. <laughs> Next one. Next. Uh, I love those questions. Your sense of humor cracks me up. Mine or his? We're going to do both. I'm going to sue his because I don't have a sense of humor. <laughs> no, I do. I do. What do you mean? I have really dark humor. Funny. One thing about me, I have really dark humor. And Same. I, my sister hates and it. I, and I wish I could... I wish I could put it out there as much as I would like to, but we'll you got to be careful with social media. And nowadays, this generation is so sensitive. Sensitive. Bro. So I'm just kind of like... And I'm part of this generation, but I'm just kind of like, what happened to y'all? Like, I don't know. I have so many dark jokes. Yeah. But thank you. Uh, Fernando, what do you look for in a person, a relationship? Oh, what do I look for? 
I look for somebody who knows what they want. Somebody who knows what they want, whether it's in life, whether it's in a relationship with somebody, whether it's, um, I love hearing about people's goals. When you tell me your goal and you're even, especially if you have like a set plan for it, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, that's attractive. Yeah. It's like, he knows what he's doing or yeah, he, nowadays he, I was going to say she, but I'm over that stage. Uh, he knows. Yeah. No, I'm no, I'm no longer by. It's just not for me. Hey, that's a long, a different story. But, um, when people tell me or when guys tell me like their their goals, what they want to do in life, um, that to me is just a turn on. Like I love seeing people, I guess in a way, have their shit together. But at the same time, I don't care if you don't because neither do I. Like we're young. I'm not I'm not gonna have it all together, you yeah, know. Yeah. I don't think I ever will. Honestly, I don't think I ever will, but that's that's lies, so I don't really care. But yeah, that's what I look for in somebody. Was that that was that your question? Right? Oh yeah, that was your question. I, mean, I was gonna say you can answer, but cool. I'll I'll swipe to the next one. Uh, what's Fernando sign? Ooh. Oh, wait, wait. What is your sign? I love talking about zodiac. <laughs> Call me whatever you want. I don't Sorry. care. I'm oh. trying to remember. Trying to remember. Cancer, right? Yeah. It's cancer. It's a cancer. Wait, looking. you're emotional, huh? Uh, a little. As I get older, I'm more tuned into my emotional side. Yeah. Yeah. What, what makes you? I mean. What are some things that cancers do? We're manipulators, we're gaslighters, we're... <laughs> I, not, not narcissistic, I think that's just a personal thing. But we're definitely manipulators and, and, and uh, gaslighters. And I think it takes a lot to own up to that. I think, I think it's a big step to admit it. And then it's another thing to work on it. Um, but every experience I've had with any other person telling me, oh yeah, I've been with cancer, man, they're this and this and that, it's the same thing. Yeah. We're just very... Well, my, my ex was a cancer. I think he was so what's your experience um i feel like he doesn't tell he didn't tell me exactly like what he wanted to do like in our relationship intention? yeah in, okay. his real attention but i mean we lasted like three years and a half and Damn. i mean it was it was it was good while it lasted it was just towards the end was when it's like oh the guy's so rocky at the end yeah so about that <laughs> <laughs> I'm talk about him Oof. but yeah he was a cancer and my, that was my first and only boyfriend i had so far Really? Yeah. Okay. You, how many exes you have? Not too much now. Uh, <laughs> I've only had, uh, guys, I've only had two. Two. Like, actual relationships? Yeah, two. Mm. And yeah. girls? Girl. I'm counting since high school. Like, four or five. God yeah. damn. Wait, what was Honestly, your... they weren't even relationships. It was just kind of like months of talking, but we never made it official. What was, what's, um, fuck, I forgot the question. What's your longest relationship? My last one, my most recent one, a year and a couple months, a year five, four months, five months. Why do you say? Why do you think it lasts that long? Uh, well, there's not. It's not. It's not that big of a difference because my previous relationship, my previous relationship before that one was a year and a month, so it wasn't even a, a big much. difference. Um, but I think this one lasted as long as it did because. We had a lot in, com in common, and we were both very, very uh, persistent in trying to understand each other. Gotcha. I think that's honestly what kept it that long, is because we at least would try. We wouldn't understand each other for the most part, but we tried. And Wait, I think- What time was he? A Leo. Okay. Yeah, and now I don't like Leos. Uh, uh, I don't like- Oh, my mom's a Leo. <laughs> I don't like men, Leo men only because I came to well I learned a lot about him and Le and I've met other Leo men as well just mutuals and they really are what Leo men are supposed to be and where are just, Leo men supposed to be I don't know much about this uh they're very they think they're the shit so they think they're the shit but when you tell them that they're gonna tell you you know no. the no 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 <laughs> they're gonna tell you no you think I'm the shit that's what they're gonna tell you so they're gonna try to gaslight you um, and I'm gonna be like mm, so no, I, I'm gonna keep it at that. They think they're the shit. Got you. Yeah. So they got a big airhead. Yeah, but I mean, so do I, so what does it matter? <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, okay, so my sign is Aquarius. What are Aquarius? Ooh, Tim, I've, what I've, the few Aquarius I've met, you guys are very outgoing, um, but very emotional, but y'all don't show it though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't show it. My sister hates that. She's uh, like, why don't you ever cry? I'm like, bitch, I don't want to fucking you know, cry. For what? No. For what? <laughs> You're like, I cry, but at my own time. Like, I be catching her because we watch, like, sad movies sometimes. Like, mm. those, there's, like, parts where we're watching a movie and she starts crying. I was like, oh, you're going to cry <sighs> now. 
skip it. Skip it. <laughs> I'm like, you're gonna cry. So you're like, fuck it, let me cry in peace. <laughs> no, for real. The last time I, I cried, to be honest, for a movie was Titanic. I've yeah. never watched the Titanic. Oh, yeah, you did tell me that, right? I've never wa- No. No. Somebody told me that. <gasps> Your friend. Who? Why would he tell you that? Because we're talking about Titanic. <laughs> no, me, he hasn't seen Titanic. I've never watched Titanic. Never watched. Y'all about to know how uncultured I am. I've never watched Titanic. Never watched Lion King. Never watched Jungle Book. Never watched uh, Fifty Shades of Grey. None of that stuff. I've never oh, watched none of that. Yeah. Uh, it. I didn't even watch the original. Nah, I didn't like the it movies. But oh. um, the Jungle Book. I did not watch a cartoon, but I did. Cinderella. Watch My sister's, that's my sister's favorite movie, but it's just, I don't know, Cinderella's kind of boring. The animated one. <laughs> All right, go. Next question. What are your red flags? I'm going to let you go first. Red flags? I don't know exactly. I hate when people ask me that, like, what are your red flags? I'm like, no, I don't want to tell you, because if I tell you, you're going to not do it. <laughs> or you're going to think about it. Mm-hmm. I don't know. What are my red flags? Give me some example, and I'll be like, okay, I agree. What I think your reflex are? No, no. My reflex. So, yeah, your reflex. I'd be like, okay, I agree with them. Because I really don't, I, um, I don't know. I personally will gaslight you. <laughs> I'll gaslight you. I oh, wouldn't manipulate. I've worked on that a lot. I'm not a manipulator anymore. But I definitely will gaslight you. And um, I, I hate it. That sounds bad, but. It's either my way or the highway. Oh, <laughs> I, and I've noticed that. I've noticed that over the time from, from my couple experiences. Mm-hmm. People do tell me that. It's like, you, you're very stubborn. Very stubborn. I'm very stubborn. But I mean, I'll, I'll give in a little. I'll, I'll listen to you. You know, like. I think about I'll it. I'll think about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, those are my red flags. Oh, uh, shit. Um, fuck. A red flag, red flag. My red flag. Mm, wait, we're we talking about our red flags or a red flag? Your red flag. My red flag. Mm-hmm. What is the one that you're afraid of? Fuck, I don't remember. I don't know. I feel like my friends have to be here to tell it. Because I don't see myself as a red flag. I don't know. That's a red flag That's right a red there. Flag. There you go. You don't see himself as a red flag. That's a red flag. I don't know. What's a red flag for me? Oh, come on. I think my, my, my sister will tell me, but it's just, fuck, they're not here. They'll be like, yeah, this. Mm, mm, no, for real. Let me name it whole way. Well, like, you little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Well, well, I'll think about it and then we'll, no. I'll let you know. No, we'll come back to that. We'll come back to that. Sorry, guys. I don't know. Mm, how did you come out to social media? Oh, you go. I have a good one for that one, too. Like, how do we come out the closet? To social media. What does that mean? How did you come out to social media? I think maybe I think this was directly to me. How do we come out? To social media, like your gayness to social media. Oh, okay. Media. So oh. how we come out the closet on social media? Well, I told my family first. Okay. I told um, my cousins first because I trusted them the most. Mm-hmm. Then I turned my tias, my sisters, and my mom and dad. Mm-hmm. My dad cried for like, he was like the hardest one because I don't know. Telling my dad something is just like that heartbreaking. He cried, but he still hugged me and he still loved me for all that. But I felt bad for like bringing that kind of news for him yeah. and him crying. Social media, I just said it on a post. I put it on a post. I think I still have it on my Instagram. Was but, it an Instagram um, post? Oh, okay. Because I used to put um, emojis on my bio. Mm-hmm. So on the post, I was like, I'm, add, I'm adding one more emoji to it. And it was the gay flag. Uh-huh. And everybody's like, what the fuck? Oh, like, not what the fuck. They're like, oh my God, I'm so happy for you, family. And they're mm-hmm. like, oh shit, okay, cute. Yeah. But that was it. That's uh-huh. the way I came out. I added an emoji to my bio. Okay. Hmm. For me, um, I like you said, I came out of my... F- parents first um it was with my first relationship with a guy and um that did not go well well my dad was very very loving and supporting he didn't understand it but he respected it um my mom on the other hand mom if you watch this i love you but i will always remember this um she completely disowned me for like almost a year but uh it got so bad to the point where, like, I, I moved out. I moved out on, not on my own. I went to go move in with my ex. We went, had an apartment in, um, in Pearland. And we were there for a year, but my mom did not talk to me. She did not want, like, I would be at home, would never say hi to me, nothing. Okay. If food was ready, she would tell my brothers to text me that food was ready. So I would come downstairs. 
Uh, so she completely did not want to talk to me. And unfortunately, me being who I am, I am one to hold grudges. I'm still working on it, but I hold I held a grudge, and I was I also have a big pride. Um, and I was kind of like in that mindset of like, you don't want to talk to me. You're my mother. Two can play that game. And so I left, and I didn't talk to her for a year. But the reason I came back is because she realized the damage she had done to me, and she basically she forgave. Uh, well, she asked for forgiveness. I forgave her. I told her I'll never forget though. I remember telling your face. I was like. I will always forgive because at the end of the day, if I don't forgive, it's going to haunt me forever. Yeah. But I made her let her know. I was like, I'm never going to forget what you did. Yeah. Um, Do you feel like that's the most heartbreaking you have gotten from your mom? Definitely. Yeah. And the thing is, my mom and I were like this. Me and my dad were never like tight at all. And that made me and my dad get close for a second. And me and my mom like obviously drifted. Yeah. And now that we're back to how things are, me and my mom are like this. We're good now, but I just wish... And this is on me. I just wish I would have never just left my dad like that because my dad and I were this during my hard times. Mm-hmm. And then just because my mom came back into my life, I'm like, I like pushed them aside. Which They're still together right now? Actually, actually, they, um, they just got a divorce or they uh, just decided to f- finish things this time for a pro. Like this week, I think it's happened. Uh-huh. Yeah, recent. And I'm just kind of like, I've been telling him, I was like, I should have been on this years ago. I grew up watching them argue, watching them fight. And I've been telling them, I was like, y'all are not made for each other. Mm-hmm. Like, like, I appreciate the effort of trying to make it work for me and my siblings. I get that. I think that takes a lot, right? Yeah. But at the end of the day, if they're both not ha- happy with each other, why still fake it, you know? Yeah. So I got to that point, and they're currently... You'd rather them, like, co-parent. I'd rather the yeah. co-parent, be happy, respectful, and, you know... I, I mean, maybe it sounds selfish for me to say, because I'm 21 now, so I grew up with them. But my brothers, they're still young, so I kind of do feel for them, because they they're not going to have the luxury of growing up with them. But me, I'm, when they asked me, what do you think I said? I said, y'all should have done, done this years ago. But yeah. they're doing it now, so. And I, let's see if it ends up being true. Because they've been saying that the past years. They're like, we're done, we're done, we're done. And they're still there. And they never did them. Again. Yeah, but they haven't been talking to each other for two weeks now, so. Wait, they still live at the same house? Nope. What? I mean, they don't sleep together, but yeah. Okay. Well, my dad was the same with my mom. They have, like, divorced when I was probably in high school. Mm-hmm. No, middle school. Probably middle school. But he would still live there. Like, he would sleep in the, in the living room and my mom, like, in her room with me. Yeah. But it was kind of, like, it was kind of awkward. And I felt bad for him. Even my sister would tell him, like, hey, like, what are you doing here? Like, go live your life. You're like, we know you're doing it for us and this. Mm-hmm. But the reason he stayed, stayed, it was just because of, mostly because of me. Because I was so little. And mm-hmm. he wanted me to, he wanted to be there in my life for everything. Like, for my, my first driving, my first work, my first, like, graduating. So he was just there for me. No, basically. Sorry, I'm gonna my list <laughs> retouch. <are> yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Somebody just said, "Oh my god, your OnlyFans debut! Congrats!" <laughs> what? I'm not gonna lie. I'll be honest. When I first saw the setup, I I was impressed, and then I immediately said, "This looks like a casting couch." I was like, "What are we doing?" <laughs> For real. No, I was telling him earlier when we were setting up that um, you can sort of see the reflection upstairs to the. To the apartment upstairs, and I was like, they probably think I'm about to probably about to pull a porno up in here. For real. <laughs> uh, tell me, who are you trying to get with? Me. Both, I guess. Oh. Then specify who. I don't know. There's this guy. Yeah, there's this guy. Oh, I, I saw your story. I know. Everybody fucking voted. I was like, fuck. I don't want to say. So but did I, you? Huh? Did you? No, I didn't. know. Uh, I'm scared. I hate rejection. What's the exactly? What's the worst that can happen? Rejection? Uh, no. Unfollow. Fuck it up. <laughs> There's many men out there. True. Many, many men. I'll think about it. Maybe when I'm drunk. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, you? <laughs> me? Uh, what was the question? Um, you're trying to get who, with Who am I getting with right now? Who do you want to get with? I'm chilling. I'm just chilling. That's what I'm saying. I'm chilling, too. Like I just don't want to fuck it up. I don't know. We're cool. We're good. We're Gucci. I'm just, I'm just chilling. I don't... I, I think I'm too happy right now to... You know, exactly. team Nikki or team Bigfoot. The fact that you even said Bigfoot, fuck you. Um, team Megan on this one, and this is coming from somebody who. You... No. Nope. Are you serious right now? Yeah. Oh, get the fuck out! Uh, I'm uh, done. We're done. Just wrap it. <laughs> no, are you serious? I'm dead I am ass. team Megan, and this is coming from somebody who loves Nikki, and I, w- I would always say I'm a bar. Mm. No, so she's wrong on this one, and I and I honestly hope. Megan is doing so good right now, but I honestly hope Nicki Minaj's tour is not successful. It's already successful. It's not. It started today. 
Is that? But it already sold out. Bitch, where? I know. All I know Houston did, which yeah. I'm kind of mad about. A lot of them. Wait, oh, are you gonna like mine? No, I didn't get the ticket. Wait, that There's some resales though. I'm not gonna pay high. If it was oh, Beyonce, I would. But I'm wait, did pay. you go to Beyonce? No, I wanted to. <laughs> 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 I went to Dolce okay. Cats though. Mm-hmm. Wait, what was the last concert you went to? Dolce Cats. It was my first. The Scarlet one? Mm-hmm. Was it good? I loved it. Yes. I lo- she, she, and this is her first tour, and she and put she in work. she performs good. She performs good. She put in uh, effort in the production and everything, so I give her props for that. Her first tour, she did really good. Yeah. She's still on tour, I think. Is she? Mm-hmm. I feel like she's been on tour forever. <laughs> she's not a world tour, though. She's been on tour for a minute. That's cool. But anyway, tell me like- why your team, uh, Nikki. I don't want to get into it. It's just, I don't know. I feel like she knows something that people don't want to talk about. Like? And like Megan, like her real personality. Like she's just, I feel like Megan's just putting up a, a front. Mm-hmm. But Nikki knows, like everybody knows in the behind the scenes what's going down. And she just said it. Like nobody wants to say it, then I'll say it. I think. Because she's been trying, she's been taking hits at Nikki for like the longest. Nikki stay quiet, Nikki stay quiet. And then the last one she was like, I say it, fuck it. Well, see, here's my thing. By the way, that Megan's Law Bar was chef's kiss. But, and bitches press. Bitches are press. But she, um, I think, I, I'm not on Nikki's side because it's been countless amount of times where up-and-coming female rap artists who are doing good. Obviously, you already made your, your title. You already have the label of the queen. But y'all forget that. No, 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 no. It's, it's a like, rap game. No, it's, it's not, no, no, no. It's, it's like, but the thing is, she tries, Nikki tries to prove a point so bad on trying to like maintain her status, which baby, you already have it. It's yours. You'll be queen of rap forever. You know, put on your grapes, shit. Yeah. But why can't you be a girl's girl? Why can't you encourage these female rappers who literally tell She's you to your face? Them. No, for what? Only the best. She literally tells it's a you. Game. It's a sport. No, no, no. She literally tells it's you. A sport. They tell you to her, her face. You, you. I look up to you. Like mm-hmm. you're the reason why. You know. And instead of like helping them or encouraging them, she does help them by bashing them. No, after no, because they no, talk no, no. shit after. No, 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 no. She gives them the collabs. Uh, uh-uh. uh. I think Nikki's just not a girl's girl. I think she's trying to prove a point for what she's. She already proved it with her legacy. She has a legacy. Yeah. So I don't see why she's so. And she's so old, girl. Like <laughs> you got other things to worry about. Go feed Papa Bear, but what the fuck is he what doing? Wouldn't be Beyonce's the same age. And, and Beyonce is an a innocent queen. She does not get in drama. She because is not she has shit a shitload of NDAs. That's nah. Why. Then Nikki should do the same shit. <laughs> well, Megan should have done it with uh-uh. Nikki. See, this is why Beyonce and Jay Z are our team Megan. That's all that matters. Whatever. The t- people running the music industry love Megan. Okay. Mm-hmm. Next. <laughs> I cannot believe you're team Nikki on this one. Yeah. You're canceled. <laughs> What's your type? We already answered this one. You're right. <laughs> I don't really have a type. I don't. I, I wait, don't I do have a type and I hate it and everybody watching knows. What made you want to start TikTok? Did I answer that? Media one? Same as social media? Okay. Who inspires you the most? This guy named Ralphie, Ralphie Pedormo. He's a he's a he used to be a Houston local. He moved to Dallas, um, but he's a gym influencer and uh, his content, his work ethic for his content. Because he's not, I don't. Wait, this is who inspires you most in your content, or like in real life, or in total? Well, he didn't really specify. He just said who inspires you the most. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with content though. Okay, okay, go ahead. Content wise, him because his work ethic, work ethic is crazy, um, and not so much like body wise. Like I'm not like oh like I want to have his body. No, it's just mostly like. He puts in the work and he gets stupid amount of brand deals like crazy. Mm-hmm. And he's just, to me, he, he inspires me worth ethic wise for content creation. Um, yeah, I'm gonna stick to content. I don't really have anybody who inspires me like in personal life. Yeah. Or I can't think of one right now. For me, who inspires me in the content creating also, I think Louis Castro. The baddest perra. The baddest mm. perra. I feel like him is like where I want to be. In my content too. I remember like, his old days. I know, me too. The him the bailando how to dance for quince. Oh, stuff. that's his first viral video. Yeah, that's why that's how I found out about him. No, I think I've been knowing him before. Way that. before? Yeah, that's before cute. that. But um yeah, he inspires me and especially like his best friend with um Adam. Oh my god, he came I, a long way. I love their relationship. I love Adam. Yeah. Like I feel like their relationship Friendship Damn. is the same as like me and my best friend. Like we always have like the same job, the same energy, some like the same ways. Like you can literally tell them. Mm-hmm. But yeah, Louis Castro, shout out if you're ever. <laughs> oh, I love him too. Uh, how long have you been blonde? How long have you been blonde? Twenty twenty. Are you going through it? No. Okay. 
<laughs> it's like every gay who gets their the hair blonde and goes no, through. No, twenty twenty. I just like the way it looks. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I just didn't, I used to it, and I'm I don't want to go back to black. I done pink and like some other ones. Wait, so you've been having that hair color since twenty twenty? Yeah. You haven't changed. Let it go to black. Nothing. You mm-hmm. just always been redying it. Mm-hmm. Oh wow. Yeah. That's a long time. It is. <laughs> 2020. I think it looks good on your thing suits you. Thank you. You well, I figured you would have met J Lo because you. Well, I mean, you posted about her movie. Yeah. No, no. I met. I seen her three times. Well, two times. In, I, in Vegas and at a concert here in Houston. Oh wow. But I never have met her. Okay. Which, one day. Okay. Actually, I'm, but I'm scared though because you know how they say never meet your idols. It's like a saying: never meet your idols because you know they can probably like not be as who you think they are. So I'm scared because I've been uh-huh. reading some stuff and I was like, fuck, I hope she's I heard not. a lot of bad things about J-Lo. I <laughs> only hear bad things about J-Lo. And I hope she's not like that, but I just have hopes. Well, if I ever made you her. know she's dying, like, her career-wise. She's not relevant anymore. She can't say relevant. I don't know. That's not be Yeah, but... Um, I think her, like, her done peak was Super Bowl. Her performance in Super Bowl was amazing. Loved it. Actually, my favorite Super Bowl ever. That shit was badass. But I think that was it. Like, after that... <gasps> she reposted me that day. I'll get the, the fuck. The next day. No. In her story. Yeah, yeah. Me and my cousin, we did the challenge and she reposted it. I, I and didn't like, have a Nina Papando. Yeah. No, 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 no. I'll show you after this. I'll boom, show you. She reposted that core, it. That Corey was iconic. And that got me on the Billboard magazine. Not Billboard magazine. That got me on the Billboard like, website. Mm-hmm. So if you search up my name and Billboard, I will come up on their website. I will like, okay, baby. Okay. Damn. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? We're getting into it. Um, I didn't damn. know we had egg pins. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I just just click what you said. No, my the other day my cause my friend slept here. I guess she heard it. She's like, "Bitch, you have hippos upstairs." <laughs> she said, <laughs> oh my god. Um, fuck. Uh, would you rather take turns asking each other? Would you rather question, for example? Would you rather? Okay. Ask me a would you rather question. Would you rather take a shot of tequila or whiskey? Tequila. Whiskey is so nasty. Uh uh-uh, uh. I can't do dark liquor. No. I hate dark liquor. I can do both. Uh uh-uh. uh. Dark liquor, hot hot. Oh, okay. Blanco, mm. You can last longer with tequila. But whiskey is like. For me, my favorite fucking. Um, me and my, me and my, be- my best friend. Me and my friend, we always uh, drink the crown. Mm hmm. Crown no peach well. or crown apple. Mm-hmm. Those are picks. No, well, not too bad. Shout out to Samantha. My favorite tequila would have to be A18. Or that was good. So smooth. Or, um. <laughs> Don't even tell my friends about A18. They think I, I, turn, to, I turn straight when I drink. A18. Kendall Jenner? What? Wait, no. what? <laughs> what? A18 is Kendall Jenner. No, no, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I'm talking about my friends. Um, she's like, you turn straight when you drink A18. I was like, what do you mean? You're just so aggressive. Like, you're so manly. <laughs> like, more. Um, tequila, A18, and vodka. I'm a vodka guy. I love vodka. Oh, yeah, me too. I love giving me some Grey Goose, some Tito's, um, with soda. Call me fucking twin. Call me whatever the fuck you want to call me. But when I go about, out and about, I be getting vodka soda what's all your, the time. Like, say you go to a bar right now, you go, what's your drink? Vodka soda. Vodka soda? Mm-hmm. Or tequila soda. Actually, no. Ranch water. I've been getting into ranch water lately. I love it. People call it, people talk shit about it. I don't care. Ranch water is so good. It depends who makes it too. Some people be putting a little bit too much of um, what is it? Sweet and sour? No, it's not sweet and sour. Isn't it like Topo Chico? Oh no, I don't mind Topo Chico. Shit, pour all that whole in. No, it's something. It puts something in something. Have it you ever tried the flavor. Topo Chico and A one eight? Mm mm. I mean, that's tequila soda though. I just haven't tried it with A one eight though. You think it tastes good? I feel like it tastes amazing. Topo Chico, the the carbonation from that one, and then the smoothies of A one eight. With a lime, you gotta squeeze the lime. Got Maybe you, two. Got you, got you. That's my go-to drink. Was that even the question? No, that was my question. Oh, would you rather? Oh, the, oh, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, would you rather date somebody that does content for a living or date somebody that's that doesn't do content? I'd rather date somebody that does content. Because, like I said in my last podcast, like it's more relatable. Like We can like help each other out like and everything. Mm-hmm. Like he'll show each other how we edit, or like show each other, or like even holding the camera for each other. You know what I mean, it's just like yeah. shit like that. Mm-hmm. It's better. No, I have never. I don't think I've ever been with anybody with no nobody's in content creation. No, I, I don't blame them. It's not for everybody. It, it, you have to really want to do it. You can't just be like, I want fame. It's not gonna work out. 
Yeah. Of milk. You have to like very be dedicated to it. Yeah. Um, so the timer takes it, and, I, and I'm not even, I'm saying this in the most humble way. I'm not even famous. So I'm just saying for those who really wanted to do it because they want the brand deals or the money or especially for the money or um, just fame in general, it's, you're not going to get far if with it. I feel like if you're not passionate for it, you're going to. People can tell yeah, through the camera. Just, just just put it at that. Yeah. You can't fake that. Um, damn. Fuck, what was I going to say? I feel like, um, like people can tell it, I mean, if, you, if it's not something that you like, you're going to, what is that? Burn out fast. Like you're going to get tired of it and then you're going to burn out. Yeah. Happens all the time. What about you? What are your thoughts on being single? Me first? Mm-hmm. Um, I like it. I mean, I feel like I'm very picky with the guys that I want to date or I'm looking to dating because mm-hmm. it's just... I have, like, a list of the things that I want in a relationship because I feel like I don't want to start again. Like, if you don't have a car, if you don't have, like, a place, like, not, I'm not saying, like, you have to have your own place. I'm saying, like, you have to have, like, at least your own room because I was talking to this guy and he was sharing a room with his little brother. I'm like, what the fuck? What do I want to go over? You know what I mean? What do I want to get down? Exactly. And, like, your brother going gluck, gluck, like. <laughs> no, for real. So, like, like, there's some things in there that I just look for and, like, and also their personality and I feel like if they're not giving... They're all, mm-hmm. it's just, why am I giving my all? Wait, so you you haven't been in a relationship, but you've been talking to people? I've been, I talk to people, but then something always like, it's just, they that fuck it, it up. That was a word? Okay. Yeah, just like my, the last person I was talking to, they were just. How long? We're, we weren't talking, we we're just hanging out. It wasn't like we're or talking, talking. Mm. We we're just hanging out and just, he was cool to hang out with, but then I feel like it'll be, he'll be just too toxic. Like mm. it's just, he wanted to control who was I with? Where was I going? This and mm-hmm. that. Like, me. Mm-hmm. Not even my mom. That's why I moved out, bitch. Mm-hmm. But yeah. Oh, that's one thing I can't do. Don't don't try to control me. Yeah. I can't be controlled. I can't be tamed. And it's not like I'm a wild motherfucker. I just don't... I don't. Yeah. You don't have a need to. You don't have a reason to control me. For what? Yeah. Um. Oh, my question. My turn to answer it. What are your thoughts on being single? Um, I love it. Mostly because I'm all, I, I ran about this all the time on my social media. I love self-love i love self-growth and i feel like when you're single you have all the time in the world to focus on you and pe- i tell people all the time call it narcissistic call it selfish i don't care bitch your love will take you far in love i mean far in life i swear um so i love being single I, I love dedicating time to me and i said this before i said why dedicate time and love for somebody when you can give it to yourself Thanks. um because nobody's ever gonna love you as much as the you, way love, you yourself. love yourself yeah. oh. call me Cringy, call me cliche to be saying stuff like that, but it's so true. Y'all just hate to hear it. <laughs> um, what do you look for in part? Already said that. Are you looking for someone right now? I think we answered that one. No. 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 Am I looking for somebody right now? Again, I'm just chilling. So if it happens, it happens. Me too. I feel like I, would, I feel like the same. Like, like I'm not going out of my way to look for it. That's one thing I can tell y'all. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Same. Like if it happens, if it clicks with that person, then it clicks. But if it doesn't, then it is what it is. Yeah. Start. Next one. Any hobbies besides working out? Um, I love dancing. I love, love dancing. Oh, I, yeah. You started getting back into that, huh? So, yes and no. No, because I would never do a, a com- competitive dancing ever again. Because that's what made me want to not do dance anymore. Oh, well, um, stressful or what? It was just, it took the fun out of it for me. Okay. I Like, I, when I first fell in love with dance, I fell in love because it was fun. It was, you know, there was nothing serious. And I had such a desire to be in this one competitive team that when I finally made it, and I got it, I was just like, no, like it's too much. I, I enjoyed more the journey of trying to get to that team than when I was really in it. I'm like, this isn't what I thought it was gonna be, you know? Yeah. Um, so that's what made me want to not have do dance anymore. But lately, I mean I still dance here and there just for fun. It's just never nothing serious. Um, and I just I like to know that like if I ever want to bust a move, I I still somewhat have it in me. Um, cause I did train hard for five years trying to, you know, go somewhere with it, but. Were you in dancing in high school? Uh, at senior year, so, no, no, junior, junior in high school is when I started going to the studio. Um, and I stopped maybe 2022. Did you ever have like the Ola club? The what? Ola club is like a dancing club. Mm-hmm. You know? yeah. I was president of that because I was like the one, I love dancing too. Um, mm-hmm. making the choreography for it. So mm-hmm. it was fun. I like it. I can't do, I hate making choreography. And I, and I like TikToks too. I uh-huh. like, like doing, learning TikTok dances. I don't post no more, no more, because I'm so busy like doing all this other stuff. Mm-hmm. But I do want to get back into a little bit of dancing into it. Dancing? I think it's fine. I, 
But it is, it's, not, it's not bad for cardio afterwards at the gym, so I like doing it. And I think people who, who when I come, come across people who know about dancing in a, the level that I do, mm. I think that's so attractive. I'm just kind of like, oh, I can have a conversation with you about dance. Like, it's so cool. But yeah, uh, that's my hobby besides working out. Working out. What about you? Besides working out, hobby is probably just this. Is content like, creation? Yeah, content creation is my hobby. I love editing, like I said. Mm-hmm. I love creating content, creating like concepts of like how to do, or like how to do stuff, or like having a plan when I go out. Like, okay, so we have to shoot this, and we got to film this, and then after that, we can show us at the club, and then like, yeah, all of that. I, I feel like I was like you at one point. I feel like I used to want to have set schedules or like set things to do at certain times. And this year, I just kind of been more with like, and I hate to say it, but with the flow. Yeah, I just kind of let things go. Well, we normally, we don't plan it much. We like having a plan, but we don't have to go to the plan. Right. Like me, when I go out with my friends, like, okay, this is the plan. We just meet up here, this and that. But if something happened between or we go out there, it's fine. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? yeah. It's not a big deal. It's just... We just want to have a plan. If it doesn't work out, then it's fine. Yeah. It's fucking... Well, it's adventurous to do that. Like, yeah. But at least have a plan at the beginning. Mm-hmm. It's cool that you like to dance. I didn't know that. Can you set me up with a friend, please? Mode. I got you. <laughs> I don't have a friend, so... No, I'm kidding. Um, no. <laughs> no, I cannot. My friends are... You don't, you don't want my friends. Trust me. Uh, would y'all date... Would I date Eric? Oh. I... I don't know. I like that he does content creation. I can tell you that. But I don't... I No, I just met him. It hasn't even been 24 hours that I met him. So I can't... It's only him. been what? <laughs> Literally, it's only been that long. <laughs> Damn, is that... Oh, it's an hour already? Uh, so yeah, totally goes by far. Pet peeves. Ooh, you go. Oh, wait, you didn't... Okay, never mind. No, you're good, you're good. We answered. Yeah, basically. we answered, yeah. Yeah, we answered together. Um, pet peeve, pet peeve. I had one. When I saw it, I was trying to think, not think about them because I want to have like a live reaction of it. Mm-hmm. So I was, when I saw them, I screenshot them and just put them away. Like, I didn't want to see them at all because mm-hmm. I wanted you to read them and us to read them. Okay. Pet peeve. Canceling. That's one of my... Ah! Pe- <laughs> I was going to, <laughs> not going to lie. Because I was running so late, I was like, "Fuck, I can't do seven o'clock." No, you you did pe- no, you didn't Ooh. cancel. Like you pushed back, it's fine. We okay. can push back. That's that's okay. But canceling, like Eesh. you made me do all this work, you made Ooh. me plan it out. <laughs> you know what I mean, I would have been like, uh, I would have been annoyed too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, canceling is my biggest pet peeve. Okay. Like I have, like when I invite you somewhere or like we make a plan, and you know by weeks, like I understand if it's like an emergency or something happens, it's fine. But you're literally, like, if I invite you out, you said, yes, I'm going, I'm on my way. But you end up going out somewhere else. It's like, wow, cool. Mm-hmm. Thanks. I'm so glad I didn't cancel then. <laughs> <laughs> we have this plan for, like, what, two weeks, three weeks? Like, two weeks. Three, yeah, two weeks. Two weeks? We posted the first one, remember? The first promo, at, like, two weeks from now, whatever now. Oh, but we have had it planned before then, though. So oh, it was three real? weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks. weeks. Yeah, so if I would have canceled, I would have been bad. I would be Oh, bad. my pet peeve? Um... <sighs> sarcastic people. I can't stand sarcastic people. That's my, not want to say my biggest, but it's one of my biggest pet peeves. So can't, I can't do sarcastic people. They annoy me. Um, like when they do it too much. Like when they do it, I was just having a conversation with somebody that, earlier about this. Um, when people can be smart asses and be funny about it, mm-hmm. but when you're sarcastic and you're a dickhead about it, I hate that. I'm like, get, get away from me because then you kill my mood. I just, I can't do sarcastic people. I never have, never will. I just, for what? Yeah. Not for what, you know? Um, that and oh, listen, I have, I have many pet peeves. Oh, let me think about. Keep going. Um. Oh. If you're on your phone, and we're together, like just like hanging out, we don't even have to be on a date. Just like if we're just hanging out, we're friends, and you're on your phone all the time. That one. No, I can't. I can't. I I rather just stay home. For that reason, I rather just stay home. Mm-hmm. You know. Um. If we're out clubbing. And this is another one. If we're out clubbing and you're just being super, super boring or like you care about what others think about you, mm-hmm. I get away from me. You're killing my like, Why did you even come? Why did you even come, right? You're, like, you're killing the vibe. Kill, literally, yeah. I hate, that's another thing. I hate people, I hate people that things. kill the vibe. Like when people like get into it or they start fighting and arguing, like, wow, y'all just kill my vibe. They killed my vibe on my birthday. Not this year. Two years ago, 
they started like he still holds a grudge against it <laughs> they were starting because it was a house party and we're all vibing i was drunk like uh-huh. the music was right the lighting was right like everything was good until they started getting into it in the corner i was like wow i got so mad that that they killed the vibe that i turned the lights back to normal you know how i have the, the lights in there mm-hmm. was it here no no okay. I, I just moved in here in november yeah, oh november. damn it's museum october mm-hmm. november. halloween i'm moving in halloween oh <laughs> That's crazy. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. I didn't move in Halloween, but um, they just killed the vibe. They just started fighting. I think it was my cousin, but he was defending me because there was a guy there at my party, which I didn't know. I guess it was a plus one from mm-hmm. somebody. He was like, um, I guess he saw that I was doing too much, uh, being too gay, and he was very, I guess, homophobic. Homophobic. Oh, then what the fuck? You come to a, this gay, is party? a gay party? And my cousin was defending me. Yeah. He was the one getting the party. He was the one that getting in the fight. You're like, what the fuck? You come to a, a gay guy's party and mm-hmm. you're not gonna have fun. I mean, right. you're gonna be judging him and whatever. Right. So they got into it. And I was like, man, fuck. I was too drunk to even think about it. So I turned on the lights, I cut the music, and I went upstairs. Mm. I was like, everybody just go home. Just go home. Just damn. Go home. And you were still sober? I sobered up right after. Oh, I saw right the because fight. of that? Oh, yeah. damn. I was like drunk. Like, I was like already like vibing. Yeah. Anyway, I was like, fuck. <laughs> These people are so annoying. <laughs> but yeah, kill the vibe is the, one of the pet peeves too. Damn. Don't kill the vibe. Keep it going. Please don't kill my vibe. <laughs> Please don't kill my vibe. Oh my god. Uh, do you have trust issues? I do. I do. I think I'm. S- I don't want to make myself sound like the victim, but be so much trauma. Yeah, I have trust. A lot of trust issues. Um. I mean, it is what it is, though. I, uh, if you can, if you can break down that barrier, then you're good. You know. Yeah. But I just have trust issues. Whether it's with friends, whether it's with relationships, I have trust issues. It is what it is. I feel like the same, um, not not much. I try not to show that I have trust issues. Mm. I'm Aquarius, but um, <laughs> I feel like I do. Like at the beginning, like when I'm talking to somebody, I do like hope they're telling me the truth kind of vibes. Mm. So that's pretty much. It. Okay. What was the reason for your last breakup? You can go for it. Um, I think just the. We were growing apart. We were just growing apart, and he was out here acting like he was single. So I was like, okay, you want to be single, so go so ahead and be single. Game. Oh No, I didn't play. I didn't, oh. I didn't get even. I just like... You're better than me. I was like, you can be single if you want. You can just be in my house and be single. And do you know what the fuck up part he did? He's not watching. <laughs> he still follows me. Um, oh! <laughs> my, ex, my ex and I don't follow each other. Um, he... We we're living together, and um, one time he came home, and he think I didn't notice he had a hick in the back. Mm-hmm. I was like, "We're not together, right?" But you're in my house. But you're still like at least respect coming home. No, I don't care what time you come home. Just don't come home with a hickey. Like that's so disrespectful. Mm-hmm. He came home with a hickey in the back. He didn't think I noticed. I didn't say shit until we fell asleep. And until we went to sleep, I was like, "Hey, um, looks like you want to be single." I mean, look at that hickey that you have in your back. He just stayed quiet, and I was like. You can start packing your stuff tomorrow because if you're going to be acting like that, then I don't need you. I don't need you here. So he's like, but I don't know where to go. He doesn't have family here. So I was all everything that he had. Wow. So he's like, I don't know where to go. I don't have no family. This and that. I was like, okay, cool. Then I'm going to leave. Being the bigger person, I'll leave and I'll get my own place. Oh, Another old place. Oh, you better this, than This me. is my place. I'm giving you my own place, right? And then on top of that, I was like, okay, just pay the last month. We only have one more month until the lease is over. Mm. Pay the last month and I'll leave. I left. When I go check it, my credit, he, he didn't pay the last month. There's $4,000 that the, the apartment charged me. I was like, what the fuck? That's the only thing I told you to do. Yeah. So that part, that part was like, fuck. And I bought him a car. Oh, hell no. Bro. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> huh? How old oh, yeah. That was the question. Remember, I remember. I feel that. You're on live. You're like guessing my age. And you said 23, 24. Yeah, how old I'm are 29. you? 29. Get out. Mm. Get out. 95. Why? 29? Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? Are you serious? Wait, how old are you again? 24, right? 23? Which is a good thing. No, it's not. Because I'm definitely not up there. <laughs> no, obviously, I know. But I'm saying it's a good thing that people think I'm younger. Oh, no, you, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you were my age. No. This Fair. boy is. Damn. 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 <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that boy basically, you basically 30. Next year. I just turned 29. 
in general. Oh, we're gonna do that. We I just turned twenty nine. <laughs> Damn! Oh my God! I know it's crazy. You grown? Oh. That's why. I, that's why it's so hard to get into a relationship because all the like. The you guys, know what you want. Exactly. I know what I want. These yeah. like a lot of guys want to just play. So that's well, that, then again, what type of guys are you talking to? Facts. My age type of guys, and not to say that I'm that type of guy, but my age, people around my age are still wanting to. Pretty much. Yeah. But I mean, I get it. I mean, I still wanna have fun too. Right? Yeah. I feel like I'm still young. Fuck. I am still young. I'm, feel, I'm still in my 20s. <laughs> hey, 30s, 30s is the new 20s. <laughs> For real. <laughs> yeah, bro. I did not know that. I'm not going to lie. Uh, that came as a surprise to me. Well. Well. Okay. <laughs> That's funny. I'm 21. 21. I'm 21. Oh, you are young. And I would say I just turned 21, but. When is your birthday? July 4th. So I didn't just turn 21. I'm about to turn 22 this year. Um, Did oh. you do anything for your 21st birthday? No, actually, I, I was in a relationship. You know what? It's not, I'm not going to get into it, but yeah, I just didn't. I did it. I wanted to so bad. I wanted to go skydiving. If you've been following me for a minute, you know I was talking about going skydiving. That didn't work out. Um, it is what it is, though. I went to Austin to party for my 21st. I went to Forestry Street and everything. You took your first legal drink. <laughs> And then Austin, Austin people just... I just came from Austin. That shit was I saw. Fun. Austin people just do it better. The right? clubs are better. It was fun. Austin. I told my friend that I went with... No, my cousin. I was like, bitch, we have to go back. That shit was fun. Yeah, it's just so expensive. Austin is so expensive. But it's fun. None of the less. That is... I'm, I'm so... I'm like shocked right now. <laughs> I am still can't get over that. I know. Uh, it's crazy. <laughs> wow. Anywho. Uh, oh, I didn't answer the question. What was the reason for your breakup? Um... Just to keep it respectful for him and I, but mostly just for him, uh, it didn't work out. It just didn't work out. And I am the one who broke up. Uh, well, I'm the one who ended the relationship. Um, but I think it was just better if we went our separate race. Um, separate race? Separate ways. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Separate ways. It was, I think it was better if we went our separate ways. Just because just I, I knew for a fact we would both grow individually. I feel like... Both of us being together was limiting our growth. I, especially when it came to my content creation, like mm -hmm. I just felt like I wasn't giving it my all, or doing it, giving, just not focusing, prioritizing it, you know. So, and him with his personal stuff, he had uh, things, other things he wanted to work on, get better at. Um, and I just felt like I told him. I remember telling him, I was like, "You will grow so much more if we went our separate ways." Um, and we did. That's the the reason for our breakup. Just keeping it cute, keeping it, keeping it, keeping it, keeping it classy, keeping it PG. You know that is just out of respect for no, him. No, my best. Oh, fuck. my best friend is your age. I think. What year were you born? Your best friend is his ex too. Yeah. 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 I know of Adrian. He's gonna watch. <laughs> but yeah, I know of Adrian. Yeah, I thought he was gonna be here actually. Here? No, I haven't seen him. In a well, while. well, because from what I, what I remember, you were um, co not coworkers, uh, roommates. We were. Yeah. 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 Before, so I just, he moved out with his boyfriend that he has now, mm -hmm. I think, no, October. Because that was before you got this place. Yeah, because we were supposed to get an apartment together. Like, mm -hmm. we were thinking about it, but then um, he got a boyfriend and so whatever. I was like, okay, I'm going to get my own place. Fuck it. Okay. <laughs> uh, oh, that was a question already. Can Fer lift you? That was my, that was my friend. Don't answer that one. <laughs> 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 okay, I'll skip. Wait, uh, how much do you live, though? Depends. What are you asking? Like, mm, I don't know. Like, are we talking like house club, bench press? Let's go with bench press. Bend, bend over bench press. So I actually don't uh, do like regular barbell bench press. Um, I do inclines or I do a dumbbell press. Mm -hmm. um, I can do with the dumbbells the uh, 70 on each side, so what's 140? 140. On incline, yeah. So the incline regular bar. Uh, a regular bench, incline, dumbbell, 70s on each side. That's 140. Um, barbell, I just don't do it because, and let, me, let me get, I'm going to start talking gym terms, but my range of motion is not as good in a regular barbell. And over time, you're going to fuck up your, your pecs too with barbell, which is not good for you. But hey, people like hitting PRs there. People like benching. They like, you know, showing off. I personally don't. I don't even do um, deadlifting, which is what everybody fucking does. They like squat and they just pick up the barbell, just... It's a full body workout basically, but I never got the point of it. What I is what is the it. one that you do? Because I don't know much about gym. The uh -huh. one where you put the thing in the middle and you put it up. Oh, for the back back rows. I think so. T bar back rows. Yeah. T bar. I love those. Yeah. There's an actual machine for it, except that my gym doesn't have it, so I I improvise. I literally made a hole 
in the fucking yeah. like it's a corner near next to a fire extinguisher like Wait, it's not even you go to la oh, yeah. um and it's like it's a next to a fire it's like next to an exit door and i just put in a barbell there i, I started doing it and then it's built a hole already uh, and i just start i'm like bro i'm gonna do what i gotta do i'm like <laughs> y'all won't get the equipment i'll do it myself then damn yeah it's a whole it's no that one thing. looks cool when i see you do it i'm like oh shit that shit looks fun i kind of want to try it one day but you should it, the back games are crazy i think we have one i go to the gym here i think we it have. must be nice just going down i know shit. that's that's i literally i come home and then just go straight that must be tips. nice oh my gym's not that far it's seven minutes from my house it's new too so I can't really complain, but it's really, really small. Eric, Why did you decide to go sober? Um, I'm not sober anymore. That, okay, so I got went sober from, what was it? From like late January all the way to um, late February. It was a month exactly. And I, that was so it, the, my month landed on National Margarita Day. No. Man. Yeah, so I was just kind of like, oh, so I waited till 12 o'clock that day though to drink my first shot, to make it official month. Oh yeah, I saw it on your story. Yeah. Um, and the reason I decided to was because from from my breakup till January, I was just partying and drinking like crazy. And I didn't want to go back to my old ways. I didn't want to gain weight from alcohol because alcohol kills your genes too. Um, and I just, I was like, I was living. I'm not going to lie. I was living. I was having a good time, but I didn't want to go back to my old ways. Gotcha. So I was like, you know what? Let me take a break. I'm like, I don't have to stop. Let me just take a break. Yeah. And I did a month break. I was really proud of myself. I, and I was still going out, Period. but... Thank you. I was still going out, but maybe all it was I was just doing poppers and everything. I was just <laughs> not the poppers. I was doing poppers and nicotine. I've been poppers it. forever. Oh, those are so fun for me. Um, but they gave you such a bad headache. Oh yeah, you did, right? Oh, this one day. Oh, the next day, all day, just head pounding, and I was like, never again will I do poppers, and I haven't. I actually haven't because I don't want a headache. Um, and they're really, really bad for you. Were you just doing it back to back? Maybe back to back. And people, people tell me I'm weird for doing it at a club. They usually do it for sex or gay people. I don't use it for sex. Maybe because... Like, yeah, I didn't ask that question, but um, I don't use it for sex. I used it to have fun. So, I don't know. You're not even supposed to use it at all. I don't use it much during sex either. Like, just one hit, probably. Just really? to get started. But then, the, yeah, I use it, I think, at the club more. I actually put my straight friends on it, and Me one too. of my one of my straight friends is so obsessed with it. I gave him the bottle. I said, "You can keep it because you're more responsible than I am." I would take it out with me every time I go out. No, for so real. I was like, "You keep it." I'd be putting it on my friends too. <laughs> like, here, sniff. Like, I'd be that? fucking with them. The first time I let them travel, like, "Hey, do you think this smells nice?" And they would be like, "But you gotta go like this, though." <laughs> no, but go like this, <laughs> and then go like this again. <laughs> and then they were like, "What the fuck is that?" I feel high as hell. <laughs> Have y'all fucked the same guys or messed around with what? each other's exes? No. I don't think so. Who's your ex? But no. You imagine, Wait. You imagine? Wait. Fuck, I forgot his name. No, you don't know. Yes, maybe. Maybe for now. Dad, what does he look like? I don't know. He's on my phone. I can show you after. <laughs> well, I want to know if I... I saw... Wait, what how old is he? Is he on the older side? He's your age. Exactly my age? No, no, older than you. Um, a little bit older? He's 24, maybe? I think. I think. I don't know. I don't know. Well, we're going to go ahead and say no. Just because no. I don't know. No, we haven't. Um, Eric, why have you been single for a long time? Because you're a, you're a hella catch. I already answered this one. Oh, you did? You yeah. Did. But thank you. Why did you do... Why did, up why did you decide to do face-to-face -face podcast now? Oh. That's a good one. It, because of COVID, because the first time I wanted to do a podcast, it was during like just um, virtual. Mm -hmm. So I would record at my house and they would record at their house and just put it together, whatever. Yeah. Because of COVID. But um, now that COVID's over and I got more happy with the way I look and my body and everything. So I was like, man, fuck it. I'm going to just start doing face to face podcasts and just to meet other people. Like, you know? yeah. So do you have more podcasts coming after this? Yeah. Like face to face? Face to face. Next week, too. Two, two, people, two people. people. Yeah. Oh, nice. There's another gym person. And I think I saw how you tagged him. Yeah, yeah. And then um, uh, a friend. She also is like an influencer on TikTok. Mm. So. Okay. Those are nice. I can't wait for those. That's good for you, though. It's because more exposure to your to your content as well. How do I know each other? We don't. We just met each other. <laughs> An hour ago. An hour ago. Uh, do you like sushi, bitch? We're eating sushi. Fuck this whole... Even uh, I'm actually in my last one. I'll finish it. I'll live. I'm going to wait. I haven't even eaten much. I love it. Would you say yes if I asked you out? Oh, I don't know who you are. One thing about me, 
I or at least like a turn on. I love people who are bold and straightforward. I respect that so much. Um, so you asking me this and not knowing who you are, I I would have answered, but you slide up. But you yeah, slide up. Ask yourself. I have a couple questions that I do um wanted to go over. God damn, look at all this. Dale. Um where they at though or the app? <laughs> would you let me hit but we can keep it on the low? What? First of all, I'm not a bottom. Uh, if that's what you wanted to know so bad. People think at first glance, I do give bottom energy at first glance or like just getting to know me, but for me you don't, to be honest. No. No. I just I, you give it a little bit more verse, but more verse top. Like verse dominant? Yeah. I mean, dominant, dominant first. You know what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm not a bottom, so I would not let you hit. Um, you don't know this, but I have a crush on you. Well, Cute. now I know, and I wish I knew who. Sign it up. Do you like sucking? <sighs> Damn. I mean, we gay, huh? Honestly, uh, yeah, but I, I'm not going to lie. Growing, uh, growing up, bitch. Boy, get out of here. <laughs> not <laughs> when, growing I, when up. When I first came, or when I first knew I was gay, I didn't really like the whole sucking. I thought it was just so, ugh, you know, like I just, I hated it. I, I think ugly, um, but I think as I got into relationships, I, I honestly, I make love to that shit now. Oh. And I make love to it. Like if I'm a bottom, that should tell you something. I'm not even a bottom though, but I do. I, damn, that was a lot. I probably should have said that. Uh, who's a cute guy y'all been looking at, but it's straight. My my um uh, my close friend he knows who he is I'm gonna, he does I don't even need to say his name he knows who he is you know who you are you know who you is J D Wady um like I don't know a cute straight guy mm -hmm. there are a few but I can't think of one mm -hmm. uh Target or Walmart Target 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 the fuck. <laughs> what's your favorite thing about H E B everything sushi. Oh, I love this. Sushi. All of this is from H E B. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I love their sushi. Sushi Wednesdays. And especially their wok. Guacamole is so good. The already like <laughs> uh hardest breakup and why. Um, my first breakup, my first mm, actual relationship with a guy that that like crushed you. Crushed me. And I'm the one who ended it. So no, can what? you even imagine? Yeah, and I was like hurting for a, I wanna say it was a year and I still like Till this day, it's probably TMI, but till this day, if, not that I ever will, because I don't regret anything, um, or would want to go back in time, but if I was to be able to have somebody in my life again, would be him, my first guy, because he was such a sweetheart, he was a great person, he didn't, he honestly didn't do nothing wrong, I simply just was young, and didn't want to settle down at the time, and I, you were ready. I wasn't ready, and I, and I thought I was, because that was my first guy love, you know? And living, and I live with him. I literally had a whole, a whole apartment with him. How long was that? A year. A year ago? No, a year ago. No, this was 2020 to 2021. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I just, I simply just stopped loving him. And it sounds fucked up, but it happens. You just stopped. And you found out I love. Yeah. Yeah. And, but he, again, he didn't do anything wrong. He was such a great guy. And I wish him the best. I really do wish him the best. I think, he, but he's fine. He'll be doing, he, I think he's in a relationship right now too. Um, and he's happy, so that's all. That's as great. long as he's happy, I'm happy, you know? Um, are you seeing anyone right now, or are you single? I'm not seeing anybody, and I am single. I am single. But he sees them. Right and now. I'm just chilling right now. Ah. I'm just chilling right now. Uh, would you ever go with me again? Otra vez. You didn't ask me. You're asking a, a, an, an app. An, an, yeah, you're not asking me. Uh, most attractive physical feature. <gasps> <sighs> teeth and lips lips definitely teeth for me number one would have to be that's like my number one thing for me probably the lips and the eyes the eyes yeah that's good if you have great teeth oh, kudos to you um best gay club in houston texas best gay club i don't go much to gay clubs Really? Oh, actually, you don't. You've been going to straight clubs, yeah. It's just I don't know. You like, don't like the gays. I don't. And not about that. It's just I don't like to get bothered much. You know what I mean, okay. I just I want to go be with in my the straight area. No, I rather go with my crew. Like if we're going, we're going together and we will have fun together. And like, they rather go to straight clubs. And I rather go to straight clubs. Okay. And they rather go to gay clubs. I'm like, dude, bitch. <laughs> I don't blame well, them. We, I mean, we mix it up though. Like, yeah. We'll go to fifty three oh six, and then we'll go to Blur, and then we'll go to Poppies. 
No. Oh, bitch, I've been at that spot nonstop the past three weeks. Uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. That's where I met. Um... Mm -hmm. yeah. You tell me. Um, my, I think the the best gay spot or the best gay club, I don't want to say blur. As much as I want to say blur, I don't want to say blur. I'm going to go ahead. It might be the best gay spot for like straight people first time. Bro, straight people are taking over that. Right. Know, so I'm just like, no. But um, I would have to say Papi's. I think for me it's Papi's. Papi's is lit. I think it's lit, especially I was, Saturdays. I was, I was blacked out that day. He told me. It was over. <laughs> Man, how much is just Man, man. Hey, that's what you mean. That's my gay bestie. Uh, my boyfriend likes you. He won't stop talking about you. What? Tell your boyfriend I love him too. Uh, mm. How old are you? 21. Oh, 29. Damn. And he still can't believe it. <laughs> and he still can't believe it. Uh, all my friends think you're cute. Oh, thank you. I think they're cute too. They probably think you're cute too. Thank you. <laughs> uh, last question. Do you want kids eventually? I answered this last time. I don't like kids right now, but I do want one. But you're at the age of like... No, I don't want kids then. What age are you probably going to get kids? 40? I don't, I don't want kids. <laughs> oh, you don't want kids at all? No. no. Okay. All right. If I did, it would have to be because my partner wants it. And now I'm very like, if he wants it, then I'll give it to him. Pero, if I'm... If I'm no. If I'm single, I don't want kids. I've always said I want two or seven. Like I, I've always said, yeah, like I think the idea, sorry, I think the idea of having a big family is so cool. Like imagine like family get, no, get together this, like later on, like when y'all grown and y'all have each, they each have their family and y'all get together, I think that'd be so dope. Um, and then God willing, like your parents are still alive and they get to witness all that. That's cool. Um, but if I can't have seven, which most likely won't happen, but uh, if I if I have two, that'd be great, and I would want the boy to be born first, and then the girl second, because I would want to look at her. Yeah, I would want my 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 eldest son to look after his youngest sister and protect her, you know, because men ain't shit. We all know this. Um, but yeah, I I would want kids eventually. But if it doesn't work out, I'm cool with that too. Now people ask me a lot, like, how are you planning on getting, you know, because you're gay and all that stuff. Yeah. Um, I was thinking into surrogacy, but I just found out that whole is. Expensive. expensive and i said damn not, i want to go for that route first too no like if i can afford it i'll do it but if not then just yeah if i can afford it i will but yeah. damn that's a lot and if not that um my friend was like once somebody asked me would you just fuck a girl and like let her birth i'm like no because then it's her kid too she yeah and you know her blood and i was like no um i do know this though if me and my partner were to want to go to surrogacy, surrogacy route i would probably you want my my semen to be the one to be used or one in one oh i heard about that yeah 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 use i heard about that too and then use his yeah or that too yeah it's it's complicated but right now i'm young i'm not thinking about kids As right now fuck them kids <laughs> um you said they were spicy where are the spicy questions i was waiting for me to be like shook if you asked me a spicy question there you go and then i'll ask you one the only thing i have a spicy question i have a not a confession a statement mm -hmm. Your friend, your best friend, AJ. Mm -hmm. I think he he found me on TikTok too. A couple of months ago, I think like one or two, he had put like hard eyes under one of my emojis, and this was when I was still dating my ex at the time. So it wasn't a month or two then; it was a couple, it was way more than that. Um, he had put hard eyes on one of my posts, and I know who he was. I couldn't recognize him, and then. You no, know, I did my investigation, and I was just like, oh, I was like, okay, this is, this is his ex telling me hard eyes. Crazy. Wait, this is recent? It was during when I was in a relationship with him. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he knew that, too. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Wait, how's that spicy? I, I didn't say I have a question. Uh, it is spicy. Oh, oh I, yeah, it is. So nice, it's, so nice. I, it's not a question. It's, it's tea. Same, it's tea, yeah. That, um... um I don't have anything else, I think. What about you? Do you have any confessions, any questions? Confessions, any questions? Not already. My confession was that one about the unfollowing me. That was like my... That was the one that you wanted I to I was like, why did he unfollow me? I really get the real tea and I knew it. We already knew it. I think it was pretty obvious. It um, was obvious. I don't go out of my way to unfollow people if I don't have a problem with you, but it was just to avoid having issues. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I totally got it. That's why I didn't... I was like, Trip. okay, whatever. 
We were like, I'm followed to you then. Like, Keep the same energy. But actually, actually, no, I... But later, I followed you back on TikTok. I was like, let me follow him at least on TikTok because I do love your, yeah. your content creator. That's the only Thank reason you. I followed you. I was like, <laughs> I was like he'll like, follow me, him. but I'll follow him on TikTok. Though. Yeah. <laughs> That's the only reason. I, I think... Um, I know when I unfollowed you, I made sure to remove you as well. I wasn't going to do that. I wasn't going to just unfollow you and have you still follow me. I think mm. I removed you as well. Hey, I didn't block you. It, it, originally, it was for a block. Not my choice, though. But I was like, no, I don't do that. Wait, did he, he not like me or what? Or just because of uh, my best friend? Ah, okay. Yeah. It is what it is. Yeah, it is what it is. What happened? Whatever. He's guilty by association. Uh. He's happy. <laughs> he's happy now. I think. I think he's happy now. Is he in a relationship? Um, I don't know. Mm-hmm. I we don't follow each other. Um, so I don't know if he'll ever see this. He most likely will. I don't know. But yeah, he's. I'm pretty sure he's happy. Um, Are you happy? I am. I'm. I'm sad that it didn't work out, but. I healed. I'm over it. I, I, it is what it is. You know, it didn't work out. It didn't work out. And I've always said this, and it sounds cliche, but if the person's that, if that person is the one, you'll eventually cross paths with him later on. Mm-hmm. You know. So for now, I'm just enjoying life, living, living in the moment. I don't have regrets. It is what it is. Gotcha. Yeah. Would you ever go back with an ex? No. No. Mm-mm. Me neither. I wouldn't. I would want them back in my life as a friend, but no. I would wouldn't. you like, not, oh, obviously you just said no, to a relationship, but would you fuck with them? Like, fuck buddies? Like, mm-hmm. fuck again? No. No. Okay. No. Reason being is because I'm one who, I realize the whole life isn't for me at a young age, um, because I'm one to catch feelings very quick, and then I'm the one who gets up getting hurt, and I'm just over at that, so. I'm trying to avoid it better. Hmm? You're trying to avoid it better, better right? Yeah, just, I, and it just makes me feel like some type of way, especially, Rich, and I know y'all know this, whenever you get out that Sneaky Links crib or whatever y'all went, the drive back home, at least with me, I felt so disgusted. I'd be like, why? Like, Same. like, and the thing is, my stupid ass, I'm the one who always would go and drive over there. Like, I never had them come over, well, first of all, they can't come over, but I would never, yeah, I would always be the one drive there, and then, baby, I've had hookups in, like, Tumball, like Damn. mind you, I live down. I live in the south, south, south of Houston. They were in Tumball, uh, Baytown, and Katy. Bitch, fuck Katy, Katy. <laughs> um, and I'm just like, I was always me. And so that long drive back home, I'd be like, fucking three, four in the morning, and be like, bro, what are you doing? Like, you know, like I could have been sleeping, getting my beauty sleep, but instead you went to go get, yeah. So I'm just kind of like, I don't know, it's not for me. And it, and like I said, I would get, I would catch feelings. I'd always be the one to catch feelings, and I was just kind of like, it's not for me. It's not. I want. I wanted it so bad to be for me, especially after I lost the weight. But it's not me, and 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 it's it's okay. Like for those who can be a hoe and not catch feelings, bro. Applause to you because I have some cousins. Girl, I'm not. I'm not gonna tell their name, but I have some cousins <laughs> who, girl, y'all are wild, and y'all they be telling me stories. They have a new man back to back, and I'm like, damn. Yeah. And they don't I feel like I fuck. catch feelings too. That's why I don't hook up. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I know. I catch feelings. That's why. I, when I start catching feelings and they're being assholes, I was like, that's when I cut it off before I get hurt more. Being I mean, assholes? With me, if you're sweet, I'm like, oh, yes. And I'm just like, I need to stop. No. No, sweet is nice. It's just when they're starting being assholes or controlling, that's when they're like, ah, no, thank you. No. Yeah. Um, it's just not for me. It's not. Itty what it is. Itty what it is. I used to hate parking at Montrose because my car got broken in there twice. And, uh, but we, me and Ryan recently found out about this parking garage that they've had there this whole time and I didn't know about it and it's so cheap. We end up paying like $7 for the whole night. Where? Um, it's, where, that restaurant in front of South Beach, I don't know if you know where, what it's called. Postinos. Postinos. Right behind Postinos is a whole parking garage for public parking. Free. For I mean, real? not free. Public parking. Yeah. What the fuck? Yeah. And I didn't know about it. It's like secure. It has like a whole thing and everything. And it's like, you pay like $7 for the whole night. I was like, bitch. I normally pay the parking next to Blur. Even oh, hell no, it'll be like $20. Well, I'd rather have my car safe than sorry, but even then, it's not safe because them motherfuckers don't give a fuck. They just yeah. charge you like, okay. And they bounce sometimes. They They're bounce not even there when you leave. Right, so it's like they don't give a fuck. So yeah. I, when I found out about that parking lot, I said, oh. That's mm-hmm. cool. I'm going to do that now. Yeah. Thank you. Right behind that Pustiano's place. Yeah. Okay. Have you been there? No. So good. Actually, I have one time, but I didn't eat. It was just, I, I we just went to go. And like They got drinks or my friends got drinks. I just... Was there chilling? Hmm. I don't think I was of age still. 
Uh, one, I think I've only been twice. One time I went with my friends, and then the other one, a guy took me. Ooh. And he paid everything and everything. He was treating me oh, out. That's right. He was treating me out, but it was cool. Uh-huh. It was nice. We got, he bought a bottle and everything. The bottle was good, because I don't like wine. And I think it was a Moscato. Mm. But Moscato was good. Moscato and roast bottle are the yeah, yeah. sweetest wines. I'm going to miss this lighting. You're going to miss it? The lighting. I could use this for TikToks. You imagine. Bro! I know. I found it better for vlogs. Because it'll be too dark in the clubs. And I'm be trying to vlog. You're better than me. I, I, I can never I can never record in a club. I'd be so like... I'm a nervous person. I'm a nervous guy. I'm, I get shy very easily. Wait. Even though I'm going, you, know, you would think I wouldn't get shy, but I get shy so quick. Out, out in the club when they come up to you? Just like, oh, my, oh, speaking, yeah, I, what? Funny thing you mentioned that. It's happened, it's been happening more often now, the whole people coming up to me, but it, specifically in the Montrose area, just the gay area. Um, and I think it's so cool, but I, what I don't like sometimes is that, like, the next day, the people, the people who didn't come up to me, they'll be like, hey, I saw you at such and such place. Like, was it you? Like, I figured it was you, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, and they're right. like, they're like, why? They're like, oh, like I wanted to say hi, but you were with such and such, blah blah blah. Like, and I don't want to. I'm like, please come say hi. I love saying hi to people. Me too. I love talking to people. They keep texting me the next. Oh, I didn't want to say hi. Well, yeah, I'm like, what? and I'm like, you'll probably never see me again. Well, not that I am any, anybody or anything, but I wish you would have interacted with me. I love talking to people. I love meeting new people. Um, and a lot of people I blur specifically have came out to me. It's like, oh my god, like I love your content, this and that. Like I love you. I follow you. I'm just like, thank you. Like, I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. I really do appreciate, especially people's small comments of like, like, hey, you helped me out a lot. Something as small as that, it's just kind of like, it makes me want to keep going, you know? Yeah. Bro, um, I love when people come up to me. I just don't like when people don't do it. And then they text me the next day, Tom Awesome. Oh, that was you. Like, I wanted to. I'm like, you should have. I'm, really, I'm a really, really nice guy. I get along really quick. I like when, yeah, they come. I love, I love when they come up to me and say hi and everything. But it's like, sometimes they're doing too much like when there there's a one time there's guy was came up to me at blur he's like hey rainbow eric what's in there this and that and i luckily i was with my sister because she's i feel more safer with her because she's like basically my body part <laughs> but um he came up to me he was drunk 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 and he was like forcing me to go to the floor and dance like grabbing me and pulling me out like, no i just got here i'm mm-hmm. not even lit enough <laughs> so it was a awkward moment with him but that was pretty much just one experience that kind of like Scared me because mm-hmm. he was like aggressive, really aggressive. Well, luckily, I haven't. And had then it. my sister, luckily, my sister was there. She was like, "Hey, yo," he said, "Back up," and then he like, "Okay, my bad." My bad. Yeah. No, luckily, I haven't had one of in those interactions. I've had somebody try to fight me. Uh, what? It was an old hoe. It was an old hoe of mine. Oh. Um, he just came up to me. It was just like you. He's like you were saying stuff about me. I was like, "What do you mean?" I was like, "I I got hurt by you. I didn't say nothing to you. I cried my feelings out by myself." I was like. I, I didn't say nothing about it. He was just like, yeah, yeah, this and this and that. And I, mind you, I was so sober. He was, he was already kind of like drunk. Um, and he was with his new boo thing or his new hoe. And I was with my cousin. And my, I, I don't ever ask my cousin to defend me, but she just has that like motherhood of her. Like that's she just mom. loves to. That's my mom. That's my sister. She just loves to, you know. So she saw me just kind of like, she, she wasn't even with me. She was on the other side of the bar. She saw the altercation that we were having. And she came up and like pushed him. Was like, what the fuck is your problem? Like, and I was just like, hey, it's okay. Like, first of all, I don't want to get kicked out. That's my one thing. I think that's oh, so yes. ghetto. So I told her to calm down because she I don't want to get kicked out. And, and I was like, I don't like, want you to come back and everything. Right. And I was like, and I also don't want to have it. I was like, let me see. What, I really wanted to see what he was talking about. Because I was just like, I don't have a reason to talk about you. And if I do, I'm going to tell you to your face. That's one thing about me. I'm going to tell you. Mm-hmm. And I was just so confused. Like, what are you talking about? I was literally just crying all week for you. Like, well, not for you, but because of you, I was crying. Mm-hmm. So I was like, what can I have said? And um, he was just kind of like, oh, who is she? I was just like, that's my cousin. I was like, but disregard her. Talk to me. And he, my cousin was just interrupting, was just like, nah, like, you got to get through him. You're going to get me first, blah, blah, blah. And I was, was like, girl, lit? calm down, huh? Was she lit? Oh, no, she was sober. Oh. And she was just like, trying, basically just trying to defend me. I was just like, baby, I love you, but this is my fight. I was like, don't worry about it, you know? And then long story short, he just walked away with his boo. Like, he walked away. I was just kind of like. What the fuck? Yeah. I won't say the names, though, because. He was probably hurt then. I just, I, I, to this day, I, I really wanted to know what I said. Because he was just like, you know what you said. I'm like, I don't. <laughs> tell me. I don't. Tell me, please. I would tell you if I said that. I'm like, I don't know what, you, what I said. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'd be seeing him here and there around. Blair. Houston's such a small world. The gay world's such a small world. That's why I stay away from that scene yeah. most of the time. And here I am going there tonight yet again. Period. 
But shit, I mean, it's fun though. Like, um, yeah. It's just don't let it get to you. Yeah, don't let it get to you. What's the, like, when you do go to Mantra, what's the first place you go to? I like to go to Club 2.0 or Eagle. It's fun. I like, I like 2.0, yeah. Never been. It's basically like a mini version of Blur, and it's, most, and it's just 21 and up. So. Have you been to South Beach? Mm-hmm. I haven't been to none of those. I've been to South Beach since I was 19, For which real? is so bad, yeah. You're supposed to be anyone up there, but it's it's cool. But you need you need to be off of something when you go in there because all the techno and like music, you're not gonna vibe to it if that's you're not off of something. That's what my best friend said. He's yeah. like, it's very like tech. It's not my vibe. That's why he's like, I don't recommend you going because you're more like Latino kind of music. Yeah. Oh no, they don't play that. Yeah. No, they, it's don't don't like yeah. kind of like rave music. Yeah. Which I, I love, but again, you gotta be on something. How was the rave? Oh man, it was so fun. It was my I was on shrooms. Um, Never tried it. First time. I've done acid before, so the stream trip wasn't really bad. Um, but I was really just chill. Picture it just like you being high, but like to a, another level. And I was just kind of like feeling the um, the, beat. the the bass. Like the bass in my chest. I felt it. Like the sun. And then all the lasers. I was just kind of like like just vibing. Literally, just the whole time, you you saw me going like this with my eyes closed. It, does, it did get to a point where like you start getting in your own head and you start thinking stuff that you shouldn't even be thinking about while you're thinking about it. And I immediately was like, nope, I'm not doing that. I just started jamming again. And then again, good trip. You don't want to have a bad trip because when you do, you get anxiety. Yeah. Yeah. And my friend, it happened to my friend. My friend was with us and he took some shrooms. And like within the first 30 minutes, he left because he was like, I got so much anxiety from people's energy so much. It was crowded too. It was really crowded. So he just so did. you got social anxiety maybe? No, he just had anxiety. Like he, it was too much energy. He was like, what's too much going on? He's like, I got anxiety. I panicked. I left. I was like, hey, I'm sorry. Like, I'm sorry you had a bad trip. Um, he's just not big crowd type of person. Mm -hmm. Me personally, I was kind of scared too because I, like I said, I've done acid, but it was with my ex at his house. Like it was just, we were chilling. Um, so I felt safe, but it was my first time doing shrooms. And on top of that, in a public space, I thought I was going to have a bad trip, but I was just chilling for the most part. Was so, it here? Huh? Was it here? Yeah. It was somewhere in the Northeast side of Houston. It was far from my house. Wait, who'd you go with? My cousin. Does it? Mm -hmm. My cousin and well, my friend I was supposed to go and then he left. And then we ended up going to Poppy's afterwards. Stop. Stop. Yeah. Were you still on it? <laughs> no, it was a little bit. It was a little bit. It was oh. had a reward off, but we went to Poppy's in it. Oh, that night. Bro, I Ubered that day four it? times. Oh my God. I spent like 250 something dollars on Ubers. Solo? Uh, no, we're my cousin, but I mean, we, we have yet. We're, we'll split that, but it's just the fact that 250 like in one night. Yeah, it was a lot. It was from my house to the place, from the place. I had already booked the Uber to the house, but midway, we were like, let's go to Poppy's. So we straight changed the address to Poppy's, and then from Poppy's back to my house later, bro, it was like 200 something. And then like, we had reserved it originally, the Uber, when we got to the, um, to the raid, because we thought, oh, if we're still off of it, we're not going to know how to order a fucking Uber. That's what we thought. But it went off in time, so I canceled the reservation. The reservation was like $80. What the yeah, and I was just kind of like, no. So I ended up going down to 50 but then me switching my route midway, the guy was just kind of like, bro, like we were already like a good halfway there to my house. And I was just like, let's go to Poppy's. But really, I wanted to go to Poppy's because there was somebody there who I wanted to see. But yeah. Was he there? Of course. Oh. Of course. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Had a good time. I've been having a great time in the past three I see, I see. No, I've, when I, I've been having a good time too. I've been chilling, going out. Austin was hella, hella fun too. It's good. Just live lives. Life is too short. Facts. Too short. All right, guys. So we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you so much you're for so coming on my it. podcast. <laughs> no, huh? thank you. Yeah, so you're so quick with it. <laughs> you're, no, thank you, though. Thank you, honestly. I'm so happy I got to experience this. This is so surreal to me. Really, oh. really, really is. It was fun. It was cool planning this, too. Like, I've never done this on a podcast. I'm mm -hmm. like, let me go out a little bit because. And I'm the first one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What an honor. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you. Right, guys. So thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, and go ahead and follow him. I'll tag him at the bottom. Fuck me. Go subscribe to him. No, no. Go subscribe to him. Guys. Follow him on TikTok. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see y'all next time. Bye.